I don't think I've ever been angrier than I was in the last 30 minutes. In 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 the last couple of months, the most angry I've been is in the last 30 minutes, where there was a slight delay on my audio on my game PC, and I was like, oh, that's weird. I guess I should just restart it, because that's happened before. Restarts game PC. Microsoft Windows update forced enabled. There was no warning. There there was there was I saw the shutdown thing. Microsoft never said there was an update. This was a stealth update. This was a stealth update, which then fucked up the entire output. So I was like, aw shit, buddy. I'm gonna have to figure out what the fuck's going on. Dude, it ended up being like a 30 minute fucking process to fix this fucking thing. Because the worst part was they were like the everything I found was like you're gonna need to you're, you're probably gonna want to restart the other PC too and once I did that OBS was like you're probably gonna want to update OBS too and then once I did that OBS was like oh by the way I fucking ruined everything oh by the way thanks for updating I, I broke everything you use everything you had I just smashed right into the ground it's all gone. I had to basically rebuild my entire OBS setup in 30 minutes. Damn, I'm good though. Holy shit. Fuck. I'm really good. I'm so much better than most people at this, dude. All right, I'm just gonna say it. Most people would have a full mental break and would just take the day off out of shame. But me, professional streamer here. And yeah, it would have been really easy to take a day off. I'm gonna be honest. I'd quite like to be playing God of War right now. All right? I, I, I frankly would love to continue to play that. I was having a good time up until an hour ago and I had to fucking roll my eyes and say, guess I better actually do my job today. Wait, don't make this our fault? Oh, it's your fault. Oh, it's- Oh, I don't know how I can- how I can make this more clear. It is your fault. I blame you for all of it. It's always your fault. Why don't you play it? <laughs> Hi. Professional variety indie streamer here. What the fuck did you just say to me? Hi. What the hell you just say to me? Why don't I play that game? Yeah, yeah, I bet, yeah! Anyways, an anonymous gifter gifting 20 gifted subs to the channel. Thanks, anonymous gifter, for gifting those 20 gifted subs. Thanks. Just play with you what you want. <laughs> yeah, off stream, dude. To do that on stream is an expectation really spoken only by people that do not have my job, that truly can't understand how, uh, how playing God of War Ragnarok would do for my channel on the daily, which is to say, not well. Ah. Answer, poorly. Answer, colon, real bad. I'd watch it, don't care. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Oh, chat. I appreciate that you, you'd be there through thick and thin. But you're a fucking liar. All right, and that's okay. I get it. I wouldn't watch my streamer play God of War Ragnarok. I know that for fucking sure. And yes, if you're going to pull the data of someone with 10K plus viewers, you have to understand that Twitch advertises them at a level far beyond anyone else's metrics. So they are disqualified from that kind of argument. Just for, just for context. Cause I know whenever like a big AAA game comes out and you mention like, hey, I want to play that. People are like, why don't you fucking stream it? And it's like, well, business wise, it's suicide. Business wise, I'd be better off not streaming. And that's okay. I still want to do something today. We're not going to do a long stream because uh, it's variety horror day. But uh. Yeah, no, you couldn't fucking pay me. Actually, no, you could pay me to play Ragnarok if I was, like, sponsored. No, I wouldn't do it like that. 
But if someone gave me like ten thousand dollars, I'd be like, okay, I'll play so I guess I'll play God of War Ragnarok on stream, but it wouldn't be sponsored. It would have to be someone just giving me money, which I mean like LOL. Insert streamer here has this many viewers while they're playing God of War Ragnarok. Oh, wait, I guess I need to make this very clear right now. Didn't ask. And the numbers you're throwing out mean nothing in comparison to me. They literally mean nothing. What I'm trying to say, okay, is at the end of the day, very different streams, very different people, different brands. My brand does not survive off of AAA games. Simple as that. I have been doing this for eight years and some change. And I can tell you this <laughs> with absolute fucking certainty. All right. This old man you hear knows what you guys want <laughs> at this point. I got it figured out. I got it figured out. You want fucking garbage I scraped off the bottom of this here barrel. You want this weird crusty shit. Okay, you want this garbage and you can say you don't, but I know you do. Alright, and you're gonna fucking, you're gonna take it. Okay? You're gonna take this disgusting crap I found, okay? Growing underneath an underpass. Growing right underneath a bridge. I scraped it right off of it. I sauteed it in garlic and butter so it would taste better, but it's still trash. I don't want it! You should have added shallot. I don't have any shallot. If I had it, I would. If I had shallots? Oh my god! I fucking love shallot. God damn it. Now you've pissed me off, you see. No, it might not sound like I'm pissed off right now for what you just said, but now I'm thinking about shallots and how I don't have them, and now you've made me angry. Now you fucking made me mad. How much dust was on that PS5? It... My PS5, when I launched it last night to download God of the War, the first thing it said to me was I powered it down wrong, which immediately dated it because it would have been when my power last went out. It said I powered it down wrong and it was angie. It was really angie about that. It was freaking shaking. It was like, how could you power me down wrong? You need to pr press the button right now. You could have broken everything. You unplugged me. And really what that means is power went out about six months ago. And at that point in time, the PS5 had not been used since. Um... It was actually so unused that when I went over to the PS5 controller to turn it on, the PS5 controller no longer knew how to sync to the PS5 because I'd been using it for my like Steam Deck. And thus, because the PS5 was angry about not being powered down right, I couldn't access the main part of the PS5 that lets me sync the controller, which uh, definitely stunlocked me for a bit because I got very confused about how I could interface with this PS5 that was so mad because if I tried to restart it using a button, it would get mad again and keep telling me that it was upset so I couldn't access. I figured it out, but it was a, it was, it definitely made it more difficult to get into the God of War. Everyone else was starting at like the midnight on the dot. And I was, um, I was starting a little after. Wait, PS5 sync isn't a physical button? Dude, I had to crawl back behind it and actually plug a fucking USB in to connect the PS5 controller. 
I didn't know they still did stuff like that. I didn't think controllers still needed that kind of help. I was baffled. I was like, this, it takes like a fucking cape, man. I had to crawl behind my fucking acoustic paneling to this fucking thing and help my PS5 figure out where it was. It needed, it needed actual help. Just like the good old days. Modern 600 USD console, by the way. Dude, many things about the PS5 pissed me the fuck off. Okay. <laughs> I I think I'm like the... the I'm not a console gamer, okay? And whenever this fucking PS5 controller shakes so hard, I worry that perhaps it may one day fly out of my hands and kill someone and or myself. Uh, it pisses me off a little bit more because Sony loves this fucking thing shaking so hard that it could kill a man if it jostled the wrong way. I don't like being thrown around my room by the vibrations of this thing because Kratos stepped onto snow and the snow went and like compacted a little bit. And like on my side, it's it's not much like that. It's more like a oh, oh, it's, a, it's more like that. Like I don't I don't it's, it's not a it's not a light vibration. It's like I'm it's like an explosion went off. But that's everything. I don't know. Maybe I'm I, I know a lot of people enjoy it, but the vi I'm like instantaneous turn off vibration. Instant. Yeah, I turned it off instant. I hate it. I hate it every time. Don't worry, the analog sticks will die in like four weeks and you'll need to get a new one. So many people have controller problems with every controller and I think you guys just have either the shittiest luck or you got weird hands. Because I've never had a controller break in my fucking life. In my life. Never have. Not one. I'm 26. I've gone through a lot of controllers. Never had one break. I've had them be, like, you know, retired. Because the console they were for is no longer a used thing. But I've never had one break. Or, like, have a button that didn't work anymore. The only time I've ever had drift is with the Switch. Well, the Switch one's a different story, because I will literally die before I use Switch in its mobile form. I'll die before I do that. I'll let... I'd rather die. Uh, my hands aren't built for that. My hands... Nintendo made Switch for a certain kind of person, and they got weird fucking hands, okay, is what I'm gonna say. They got weird fucking... weirdo hands, because I can't use that thing. It's like when Capcom was convinced that I would be comfortable playing Monster Hunter on the 3DS. And I was like, what the fuck are you? Capcom, where do you think we are? Where do you think we are right now? How many buttons you just asked me to press with this fucking little thing? With this little, this little tiny thing? I enjoyed my DS when I was a child and my hands were small, but once I got big hands, dude, I literally can't. He doesn't know about the claw. I had that fucking analog extension thing that you'd put on the 3DS that would give it like a grip. I had, I gave that 3DS every chance I could to be a comfortable thing to have in my hands. And every time I tried, it wouldn't do it. Good lord, the claw TM. Dude, I just, whenever I think about the DS, I think about back when Nintendo truly believed people should be aiming, like... Oh my god. Aiming goddamn Metroid Prime Hunters with the stylus. Use- imagine playing a shooter with the fucking stylus. <laughs> that was where we were. At one point in history, Nintendo delivered games ex with the expectation you would use the DS stylus to aim. 
I'll take gyroscopic aiming over stylus, thank you. Even that's miserable, but at least it's a little better. Kid Icarus was an amazing game, but I don't think my hands will ever truly recover. Dude, the second a game actually physically wounds me from like the controller setup, I stop playing. That's why I'm not very into fighting games because I walk away with like horrible wounds and then I'm like, wait, I can't let this game get me in real life. I can't let this game get me in real life. I won't let it. It has to stop here. <laughs> the cycle must end here. Weak hands. It's not weakness. It's 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 strong mind. Okay. It's strong mind and understanding that at a certain point you have to call it quits for you uh for your hands turn to goo. And God knows, you see, it was strong mind as well because God knows I was never gonna like be one of those fools in a fighting game like that plays a fighting game that like because they're uncomfortable playing with a PS4 or whatever controller, they switch to like a fucking actual big ass arcade controller and then they quit the game like a week later. I'm not gonna do that, so I was done. At that point, I was done. I knew better, man. I knew better. really calling Sam out, you called him out because I didn't know he did that. You just called him out because I didn't know. So if that happened, that's on you. Yeah, nah, I... Look, man. I've played with, like, I played against friends that have fight sticks and stuff in, like, fighting games when I was younger with, like, a normal controller. They, didn't, they needed more help than a fight stick. Okay, that's all I'm gonna fucking say. That's all. That's all I'm gonna say. They needed a little bit more help than a fight stick. You really don't need one. <laughs> Flexing about beating ten-year-olds when I was a ten-year-old, which means it was an equal fair fight, motherfucker. We were the same. We were at the same level. Okay, and I would argue two, like, two 10 year olds battling in a fighting game is far more competitive than any two adults doing the same thing. Okay, you could never walk where I walked ever, ever. You couldn't do it. I was such a gamer when I was 10, dude. I was the best. I could have 10 year old me. Okay, no, yeah, I'll say I, as far as like, games like arcadey style games not so much like rpgs and the kind of stuff i enjoy now but those like shooters and stuff arcade style things naruto ultimate ninja fucking budokai like street fighters and stuff i was the best i could have gone pro i could have gone pro okay i could have gone pro I've ruined friendships because of Budokai. Dude, if I if only if only I could I could go back to the point of being able to access my old Budokai Tenkaichi 2 save because there was some fucked up custom character I made, like custom stat character I made that I I only remember as being able to instantly kill everything in the entire game and I just can't remember how I did it because it wasn't like exclusively stat boosts. There was there was skill in there. There was moves, but I don't know how I did it. I don't know how I did it. That's like that child, you know what I you know what I mean that child knowledge that you have for a game and when you try to recapture it as an adult you're like what the fuck was I doing? Like what happened to me? It, when I was 12, that made me so powerful because I can't find it anymore. I'll never find it. Motivation. Motivation and lack of games to play, I think. 
Look, I just wish my parents had been smart enough to put like something that I could have carried farther with me into the future, like in that space. You know what I mean? Like put something in front of me, like, I don't know, Call of Duty. So I could have gotten really good at COD, maybe gotten into esports or something. But instead they put fucking Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 in front of me, like the Tenkaichi games and like all the Budokai games. And those didn't have as much fucking mileage, let's be honest. Let's be honest, let's look around what Dragon Ball's been up to lately, did not get as much mileage in the grand scheme. There was a there was a pretty big uh, there was a pretty sparse amount of time there where there was just really nothing. Could be playing fighters. By the time I got to fighters, it was too late for my reflexes. Okay. Plus, I don't really like those chat. This is actually like a fighting game technicality thing that I just don't like. I really hate fighting games where you're jumping between three characters at a time. Like, I do not like that trend. I like having one character that I can master. I hate ones where I have to like multitask three fucking people. I think that's like just the most wildly confusing shit. I need a guy that I can just pick up. And that's my guy, you know what I mean? But I don't really get into fighting games anymore because, um... I... For... For honor... Made me feel like an evil guy. Made me feel like a bad guy. I feel like friends don't look at me the same. I... During the beta and launch of For Honor, I did horrible things to people. I did horrible things to people. And then... Smash Brothers Ultimate came out. And I done did it to them again. I grabbed Shulk and I and I backslashed people across the map. And no one could beat me when I played Shulk. I picked up I I picked up the evil and I said I'm really feeling it. And then I just did horrible things. Joe and I actually talked after stream last night. We were like talking about the fucking list he made and it made me think about like fighting games and why I don't do them and it's because like I'm not chat I'm not the best at fighting games ever but I will find obnoxious fucking tech that makes people angry and if it makes them angry they get worse at in real time while they battle me and that's how I win in fighting games and I seek those things out and I will laser focus the most obnoxious fucking crap But I can't do that anymore, dude. I'm too, <laughs> I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> I'm just too old, too old for this shit. Tilt main. Look, man. Look, man. I played Lawbringer. Okay, I played Lawbringer in For Honor. So if you were there at Ground Zero at launch, you know I was the tilt main. Okay, those fucking bastards didn't know what hit them. Okay. I played Lawbringer at launch. Back when people thought he was bottom tier. And I pushed people across entire maps as they just screamed and screamed and begged me to stop. And I would say no. And then I would push them off the map. 90% of my kills in For Honor were ledges. Alright. And that's how it was supposed to be, motherfucker. Stay the hell off my property! He was bottom tier on launch. Yeah, but chat, here's the thing. There's strength in being bottom tier, okay? Because all those bullshit bottom tier things are fucking like esports legends ranking this shit. And you're never gonna play at that level. But what you do have now is a character that no one is going to learn and no one is ever going to understand because they've written it off as garbage. So now you have actually an insanely strong character because he's elusive and no one gets it. Okay? Which is why I always, in fighting games, go for the bottom tier trash. Okay? I go for the bottom tier trash because no one knows how to fucking do it. No one ever gets it. It's so much fun. I played Ridley for so much fucking time in Smash Ultimate. And I thrashed like everyone I played as Ridley. And everyone was like, he's the worst character ever. And I'd be like, yeah, but like, <laughs> but I'm still, 
I'm still killing you every single time. Every single time. Every time. You think of going back to Kaiju Farm? I saw Kraken playing it yesterday, and he seemed sad because he played it for three sessions. After three sessions of that game, all of your happiness is gone. You can't be happy playing the game anymore, and that's kind of where I draw the line on playing a video game, is if it's not fun. Even Noida was fun, Chet. Noida. As many times as I fucking died, I was having fun every time I played. And that's not a lie. I was having a good time playing that game because it's goofy and stupid. And there's like so many different things to see. If I have to see someone tell me that it's time for me to feed my monster with a mandatory fucking text box so I can slowly select that I'm feeding them grains for the 18th week in a row and give them a meaningless spice so they don't get sad, for the 18th time in a row, slowly clicking through every single dialogue box as they ask me if it's okay to feed them that and if I'm sure, and then go through a slow cutscene of feeding them the food at my Kaiju Monster Ranch, someone's gonna die. Someone's gonna die. Okay, I can't do it. At the very least, Monster Rancher 2 let you skip a little bit. Monster Rancher 2 moved a little faster, and it's on PC, so you can speed it up even more with Cheat Engine. But, like, it being exclusively Switch, if they put that game back out on PC, I'd consider going back to it, specifically because I can speed it up. But until that day comes, that game is way too punishing with its, like, micromanagey bullshit. And way too, ex like, it has too much of an expectation of, like, you gotta restart over and over again to not let you speed through it faster. Okay, like, I, I, I have to, I have to, I can't play that much of a game that doesn't respect my time. I just can't. I, I, I have to, I have to be smarter with my life. <laughs> it's, it really just comes down to that. I'm mortal. I'm fucking dying. I will be dead one day, and I don't want to think about- I don't want to, on my deathbed, be like, God damn, El Ligmundo. What could have been if only I hadn't mashed the button to skip all that horrible dialogue? I don't want to think about that crap. It's over. It's gone. El Helpo can go to hell. Okay. Have you ever been haunted in real life? To my knowledge, no, but the ghost could just be bad at it. Which is really funny to think about, and I'd love that to be true. What's up, ghost? Evidently, you've done a bad job if you're here and I don't know it. Because usually the trick is, if you're haunted, you probably figure it out pretty quick. So if the ghost is, like, bad at it, I'd never notice. Let's bust out the ghost equipment. Uh, to be clear, I own, like, all the ghost equipment that a ghost hunter would want to use. I don't believe in ghosts for fucking shit. I think coincidences are a wacky thing. And science is a fucking absolute, like, mess still. And no one knows what the fuck's going on ever. But, uh, there's still no amount of money you could pay me to turn on a fucking spirit box in my house. Even saying I don't believe in ghosts. Because there's still a part of my subconscious brain that would be like, Why did the radio broadcast tell me my full name somehow and then say it was going to kill me? That would still, even being like, I don't think ghosts are real. I, there's still a fear in my mind that if the radio thing was like, What's up, tomato gaming? I'd be like, ah, ah, And I'd, like, I'd never be able to sleep again. Like, simply because I'd be like, what if radio waves are sentient? Like, I'd, I'd rationalize some other insane bullshit that's even worse than ghosts. I'd be like, what if radio waves are real? <laughs> what if radio wave is real? And angrily. The 5G, it knows. It knows.
Zerragneric. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Ragnarok. You almost got it. You pissed me off. By talking about God of War. You I don't even, you evidently didn't intend it. You just have a name, but unfortunately you have a name at the worst fucking time possible. And it pissed me off because now I'm thinking about it again. And now I'm God of Boar. Okay. I will say people are playing Ragnarok. It's out there. Okay, I'm gonna say one thing about it. It's not spoilers, it's nothing to do with the plot whatsoever. It's about gameplay. One, if I have to slowly squeeze through one more fucking little crack that evidently Kratos could easily walk straight forward through. Okay, I'm gonna huck Mimir's decapitated head into a lake. Okay? Like, I I'm gonna do something ridiculous to someone that doesn't deserve it around me in that fucking game. Okay? Second. Second. I understand that games have to have characters be weak or seemingly relatively weak so that there can be some level of difficulty put into a game where you play a guy who has literally ripped worlds in half. But if a little goblin, and I'm not talking about like a guy the size of like Kratos's lad comes at me. If a little worm guy, a little guy <laughs> runs up to me and yes, I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. I am, I wanna be challenged. But if a little guy can truly hit Kratos so hard that he fucking dies in one hit, just a little guy, and then the big goblin hits me and does no damage, I'm question marking now. I, I, I'm, I, I've been fighting these little guys, these little worms, and... They just make me mad because they are so obnoxious. <laughs> They're so obnoxious. I hate them. It's all about the density. They're not dense. I can tell they're not fucking dense because Kratos fucking grabs them and squishes their head with one move. If he gets them. Okay, he can hook one over and just squish their fucking head and they explode. They're not dense. Okay. But they are fucking annoying. And I don't know if anyone else, I've been tinkering around with the settings in that game. And I need some validation on this because it's driving me crazy. I don't know if it's a me problem. I'm trying to like not get in my head too much. Does the lock-on system in this fucking game blow? I have not had a single fight where a guy hasn't moved slightly out of my left or right of my camera. And then Kratos is just like, I forgot where he is. And then I get like attacked from like off camera. It I I have it set to mandatory forced lock on whenever something's on screen. And even then, with multiple settings of intensifying lock on, someone leaves Kratos' immediate line of sight and he goes, That person was never real. Weird. It's like he's, it, it's like he lacks object permanence and forgets things exist if they leave his line of sight. And I don't think I'd care so much if I wasn't on the hardest difficulty and when something leaves my line of sight, it's like saying the next thing I'm going to do is fucking immediately send you to the checkpoint that you just had. So like I start going like, where is he? Where is he? And I can't find them because Kratos de-locked even though I have it set to force lock. Maybe there's an FOV slider. <laughs> I think I might need an FOV slider. Is I bet there is one. There's like a thousand accessibility options in that game. I might need to fuck with like the FOV maybe because the lock on, the second it leaves the camera and every fucking enemy in the game has some dash that lets them teleport halfway across the battlefield. Um, I, I, I need help out here. You know what I mean? I need fucking help because God knows Kratos' is fucking lad ain't gonna do shit. I, I, I'm not going to lie. It's, it is very fun to play this game and watch as I'm fighting one guy, like one guy. And I'm like, yeah, hell yeah. I'm the God of war. And I look to the left and the boy is getting absolutely blasted by like 10 zombies. And he's just screaming 
and screaming and screaming. And then I still press the button that makes him ignore every guy killing him and shoot arrows at the guy, the single guy attacking me. And then he just gets killed. It's a really good time. I do, I tell him to do the square move and I make him ignore everything killing him. It makes the boy tougher. Either way, so far, lock on mechanics be damned. It's a very fun game, but I mean, the combat was already good before, so it's pretty much God of War. Right now, it's God of War again. It doesn't, nothing in it has been like, wow, this is an incredible upgrade from the old game. It's just God of War again, which is okay. The story is compelling. The story is worth it, but that fucking lock on issue needs to be fixed. I'm getting, I'm, I'm reaching my limit. I'm reaching my limit of something fast dashes to the left of my screen and Kratos just goes, uh, what? Huh? Where did they? I don't know how they... And then gets fucking blasted for 90% of his HP on the hardest difficulty. Like, I want to play on the hardest difficulty, but holy hell, if it's like reaching a point where I, like, everything is one-shotting you, but the game won't show me where they are, I'm going to have to lower it, and that feels really bad. Because it's been, it's felt like good difficulty otherwise. He's getting old, Tomato. Give Kratos a break. Isn't he like an immortal god? I'm pretty sure that's the name of the game. Is God of War, not God of, you know. God of aging like a normal guy. Like, I don't, I just don't think that's what it is. God, he's an old immortal god. If I was a god, and confirmed immortal, and I still aged all the way up to an old wrinkly fuck, and that was my immortal finals form, I'd be PO'd. I'd be fucking mad. I'd be like, I got scammed. D did I- How did I get my immortality? This feels like some kind of monkey's paw kind of wish. This doesn't feel like good immortality. This feels like something I got from a monkey's paw wish. Look, just because fucking, like, these wrinkly old gods want to stay wrinkly and old because that's their thing, I guess. Just because Zeus wanted to be an old fuck doesn't mean I have to. Doesn't mean Kratos has to. Okay. Zeus wanted to be old and to fuck. Zeus was built though. Yeah, Zeus, dude, honestly, that was the wrinkler. All right, Zeus in God of War 3 was the wrinkler. You can't, he was the wrinkler, okay? Do you prefer axe or blades? The axe is so fucking bad compared to the blades and it feels bad because it's so much cooler than the blades. But dude, like the second there's more than one enemy on the screen, if you don't have the fucking blades out, you're basically saying kill me on the highest difficulty. It feels bad. It's a bummer. I think it needs more upgrades, but uh, at least at early game. Dude, you can't have that fucking axe out. <laughs> you literally can't have it out. Like everything, the 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 blades is just so much better early game on uh, the hardest difficulty, but I'm sure that'll change with upgrades. Uh, I really like the feeling of the axe, like the throwing and the catching and all that crap. It's really cinematic and cool, but it's just like, hee hee, three enemies. You're gonna press the swap but uh, swap weapon button now, right? You're gonna <laughs> you're gonna swap weapons now, right? You better, you better. The axe has like no AOE compared to those blades either, at least by default. It's just like, I just need, you need upgrades. You need upgrades and unlocks, and then I bet it's good. They should have added another axe. <laughs> true, true, dude. And they should give him an AK-47, bro. An AK. Look, dude, honestly, I'm just glad that they're doing... I, I, Obviously, no spoilers towards anything. Many people are still very early in the game, and if you post fucking spoilers in here and there's any way I can parse it, it's a spoiler. I will have you permanently banned forever. But I, uh, 
I do miss the old days of like God of War 3 where they just give you fucking trash that was just the same as other trash. Like sometimes I just like getting a weapon that looks kind of funny. You know what I mean? Like in God of War 3, you get those like hooks in the underworld and they were mechanically the exact same fucking thing as as the Blades of Exile or whatever the fuck. They were the same weapon. They, they, they swung a little bit faster, but they were the same thing. But the giant lion hands. Get me some of those in God of War now. Get me the big giant lion hands right now. I want to punch someone so hard they fly away. I want to cause... I know that that's what like the Spartan Rage thing is. Is like trying to channel that. I don't fucking care. I want... Kratos can scream all he wants. It doesn't make the giant lion hands come back. I want the giant lion hands back. Those were the best weapon in God of War 3. I literally never used anything else after I got them. Give them back. Give them to me now. Give them to me now. All right. And we'll be cool. Or the Zeus sword. You mean the blade of fucking Olympus, which famously used all of its last energy and is now inert and useless? Tch. Keep up with your fucking lore. You're going to say something so stupid. Yeah, that one. <laughs> It's so goofy to be like, keep up with the lore of God of Wars 1 through 3, where truly it the bear, like, <laughs> the, the lore in God of War was just so fucking basic, and God, I do love God of War, though. Fuck, the original games were so good. But, damn, they were a lot different than what people get now. It's, I do hope that someday, I, I know they put out, like, a trilogy, like, they put out, like, a trilogy disc, right? I hope one day they package, like, every old-school God of War game after this and put them all together on, like, PS5 or something. Because, uh, even I missed some of the other ones. Like, some of the PSP ones and stuff, which apparently were also really good and did get, like, somewhat reworked. The hardest difficulty in those games were nuts. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't beat. I couldn't beat God of War 3 on the hardest difficulty when I was a kid, when I was younger. Yeah, right. Gonna cover you in your dead family's ashes too. Boy, is your juice box okay. <laughs> Look, if you've played all of the God of War games, the progression of the new games is fucking awesome. And honestly, after God of War 3, you've had enough of Kratos going, Zeus! Zeus! I'm fucking Smash Man! And like crawling up fucking, like crawling up walls like a little ghoul, like a little creature as he, try, as he hunts down. Z like, you get sick of it. But like, at the end of the day, I also... It's also so hard, at least it was in the first God of War game in like 2018, to ever really be like, yes, yeah, Kratos, you're, it's okay, dude. You can move on past all the horrible things you did. He did grab half-naked women and use them as truly a tool to jam up the gears of a gate in God of War 3. He would grab them and throw them into the gears of like doors so that the doors would jam up so he could go in them. There was barrels nearby. There were other things to use, but Kratos would be like, what's up, human? <laughs> Pick them up and spike them. In. He basically used humans as makeshift like simple machines for his work. He would not have hesitated to use someone's entrails that was totally documented as an innocent, perhaps like a doctor or a medic of some kind. He would not hesitate to use their entrails as some kind of rope to like climb up a, like a ledge. He would. <laughs> he would have. He would have and he likely did in one of the other spin-off games on the PSP. All right, if I'm going to be honest, and it would have been a small ledge that you would have been like, I bet he could have jumped that. 
but they'd make you press O and do it with a QTE. But it's okay. His family died. <laughs> it's, just, it's just, you gotta take a step back from all of the, like, they try, Sony tries so hard to be like, guys, Kratos is not that bad. Like, he did stuff, he's damaged. But if you look back at everything he did across the board, holy shit. <laughs> Kratos, you should be dead. You should... Someone should have someone should have killed you. Like this is bad. And nothing I think really speaks for that better than the end of and this is mild spoilers, end of God of War 3 where you see that him literally killing every single god in Olympus killed everyone. He killed billions of people. Everyone died. <laughs> Everyone died but Kratos, who still got to live and do other things. Motherfucker, he should not be haunted by one or two ghosts. He should be haunted by a goddamn infinite army of ghouls. He killed every fucking person on Earth. Just Greece, though? Dude, the flood alone, when Kratos kills Poseidon in God of War 3 was high enough to fucking cover the peaks of mountains. Everyone is dead. Everyone is dead. You don't survive a flood like that. People die when the flood waters go up 10 feet and drown and die. You're going to tell me flood waters go up the size of fucking mountains and people are swimming? <laughs> people are good? Dude, I'd be so fucking mad if I was like someone on earth... And I had to watch, like, I die, I'm I'm haunting the person who killed me, like, indirectly, Kratos, I'm watching him. Okay, and I'm like, this guy, what's his game plan, why'd he do all this? And at the end of it, he tries it, he fucking kills himself. I'd be like, you gotta be fucking, like, if you were gonna get all these people, at the very least, fucking own it, own your shit, and don't look around and be like, peace, and kill yourself, too. <laughs> Kratos is such a fucking asshole, dude. <laughs> uh. You're being very mean to him. I know, but he fucking deserves it. And if you played the new, if you played the old games, you'd know. You'd you'd know. <laughs> he every every time Kratos gets the shit kicked out of him, I'm like. Deserved. <laughs> Deserved. Indirectly, this person didn't know what's up from before, but he was a piece of shit. He was truly irredeemably evil at points. Like, sometimes Sony would try to humanize him for a second in the old games, but then a second later, Kratos would walk up to an innocent, like, dog and break its neck and then use its body as a small stepping stool to get up a, like, two-foot incline. Yeah, that's just what he was like. He's like Vegeta as a protagonist. Vegeta never even got close to the level of insane shit, Kratos. I, Vegeta, here's the thing. Kratos could punch holes through walls like it was nothing. And he, do he documented does it all the time. So I'll loop back to the part where he used half-naked women in a temple as uh, braces to hold a heavy door up, knowing fully well that when the time came that he passed directly under it, they would be violently crushed by the door. Uh, about 15 minutes later, he would proceed to punch through a big boulder wall so hard it turned into dust. So I know Kratos didn't need to kill those people. <laughs> Kratos, they, they just didn't need to. They just didn't need to. It's just dude, bro. Shit, chill, man. The door was really heavy. <laughs> you 
You know who didn't kill his family? Even when completely infected by evil, down to its very core? Despite it all, Vegeta. Vegeta didn't. Sure, he did blast a key blast directly into a crowd of people, actually exploding them all and vaporizing them. Uh, but Kratos did cause a global flood that killed billions. So again, that's kind of the bar right now. Bro, Goku threw Boo into a skyscraper, killing thousands. Bro, I don't know how many times I have to say global flood. I think sometimes people don't understand what global flood means. That doesn't mean country flood. That means all of it. <laughs> That's literal Omnicide. Kratos did what the Shredder even could not. Okay? Kratos did what the Shredder couldn't do. And he did it in one weekend. One bad weekend was all it took <laughs> for Kratos to literally circumvent fate, go back in time, collect people from the Beyond Era, collect all the Titans, hunt down and kill every single god in end existence, and then he bails! And then he bails, dude! He fucked off! Holy shit, if I was like the Egyptian gods, I'd be like, bro, what do we, how do we stop this from happening? He went to the, he went to fucking Asgard, dude. He went, he, he walked right by our door. We need to bar this one. We need to stop him. He's gonna, it's gonna happen again. He's just gonna keep fucking doing it. I don't know anything about that, like, plot progression of God of War Ragnarok, but if the name is any implication, it sounds like he's about to do a sequel. It sounds like he's about to do a second Omnicide. Where are the TMNT Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? They stopped it once, they can do it again. But can he beat Broly? Dude, Gohan could fucking blast Kratos in the next goddamn week, okay? Like, we're not doing this power scaling shit. We're not- we're not going there, okay? Sometimes Kratos gets beaten by little worms. According to my game, okay? A, a couple Cybermen. Could be Kratos. Perhaps even one. He's a Raditz level character. <laughs> he really is. He's a Raditz level character that gets angry and then sometimes he can do cool things. But he's the god of war. Isn't that, I mean, that just feels like the name they give any god, any person with like slight immortality that's really mad though. Cause like, I haven't seen him in any wars in a while. He, I haven't, I haven't seen him in many of those. Like, I wouldn't really call what happened in Olympus a war. That was more of a massacre. If you play the, if you go through God of War three, you would be like that. This didn't feel like a war. This felt like a war crime, maybe. Like he killed he. A lot of people got caught in the crossfire of his. His escalations. <laughs> he's, he's he's a little bit of a rascal. You know what I mean? I think that's what we're really trying to get at. But it's okay, guys. He's damaged and retired. It's, it's okay. He's, he's retired now. He won't do it again. Kratos sure is a silly guy. He's just a little silly guy. He's just having a good time out there. Kratos had a Joker moment. Motherfucker, he was having a Joker moment basically every single time a QTE happened in fucking God of War 1 through 3. Okay, every single time the flashing red O button would appear over someone's head. 
he was having another Joker moment. Okay. But hot dad now. Yeah, I guess. Hot? Kratos is pretty- Alright, come on guys, Kratos is fucking huge. Come on, let's give him some credit, okay? Let's give him some fucking credit. Have you seen him? I feel like people are like, yuck. And I'm like, uh, bro, have you fucking seen him? Whoa. He's a wrinkler. He's not a wrinkler. He's definitely not a wrinkler. Big itchy beard there. Dude, I can't have a beard on my face at all before my whole body starts to reject it and just gets really fucking itchy. I don't know how, I don't know how anyone has a beard that big and isn't just constant. You think Kratos, whenever the camera's off and not looking at him, he's fucking scratching? You think he's like miserable? You gotta use beard oil. Beards don't itch, Omega oh, Lol. Shut the fuck up. What? No, I'll believe the beard oil thing. Someone just said beards don't itch. <laughs> You're just wrong. Aaron. <laughs> Most people's beards itch. You can get used to it. You can get used to it and one day it won't bother you as much, but it's always going to itch you a little. It's always a little bit itchy. It's just a growing itch. It fades with length. Yeah, like, but like, even if that's 100% true, which it might be, I would never subject myself to that much misery for something that most people will like not appreciate, okay? I need to, if I'm going to grow like facial hair, I better be getting applause, okay? I better be outputting something that's going to get me like a standing ovation everywhere I walk. What misery? It... You guys are fucking absolutely pissing me off today. All right. You guys are fucking making me go crazy. Your facial hair grows on its own. No. If you really fucking clench and squeeze your, like, your whole body and, like, like, really focus on the muscles on your chin, you can make it grow. Kind of like play dough. You can make it squeeze right out. Focus your life energy into your hair. <laughs> Careful, you'll get a beard hernia. <laughs> you gotta be careful out there. Your beard could, uh, you know, have a get a blood clot or some kind of horrible, horrible, debilitating. You know, condition and die right on your face. And bearditis is horrible, yeah. Beard cramp. I sprained my beard once. Yeah. See, I am looking forward to when, much like Disco Elysium. There's a scene in God of War, the new one, where he walks up to a mirror and there is a QTE that says, shave it off. And you permanently, it auto saves when you press the button, irrevocable, and you get to shave off his beard and see how, like, cause he looks sad already. Most of the time, Kratos looks miserable. So if you take that beard away, I bet he looks like, he, I bet he really does look like he's about to cry all the time. He'll, I bet he should go back to normal.
He should go back to the OG look. But you guys wouldn't let people don't look. I think most people definitely prefer the new Kratos look over God of War like three. I think God of War three Kratos. I don't know. Something about pisses me the fuck off. I something about that the look he gives. I don't really like him. I don't. I don't think I'd like hanging out. Like it, plus his plus. Let's be honest. Okay, let's be let's be real honest about one thing. Hang on, I'm pulling up a picture because it's really important. Stuff like this is really important to me. Um. Ain't 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 nobody gonna be applauding that facial hair, right? So we do know he got at least an upgrade going from that one. What the fuck was going on with that, Kratos? What the fuck was going on with that one? What's up with that, man? What's going on with that? What the heck is what the fuck is up with that? The goatee of war. His chin was cold. See, what bugs me is that that you can see that Kratos can grow a full beard. Which means that what he did in God of Wars 1 through 3 was deliberate and calculated. He wanted to have that happening to him. He wanted, he wanted, he wanted that. <laughs> Did not want to copy Zeus. There are so many choices to go with for facial hair between what happened to Kratos in God of War 3 and Santa Claus. Okay, there are. He could have done- he should have done mutton chops. There needs to be more fucking main characters in video games with mutton chops. You know what I mean? Those are the worst? What are you talking about? What are you- what are you- What, what are you crazy? What are you, crazy? What are you, fucking lost your mind? This is, this, this right here is the goddamn, the peak of, of, of high fashion. Looks like a face hugger latched onto the back of his head by accident and is trying to pretend they didn't fuck it up. He's like hanging on to the front with their hands. This guy banks. <laughs> he, you know he probably, yeah, he probably worked at a bank or something. <laughs> yeah. Well. I reckon we, uh, I reckon we get on into the video game. Arthur Morgan will always have mutton chops in my mind, as he fucking should. As he fucking should. Oh, yeah. Arthur Morgan's mutton chops are canon. God, Red Dead Redemption 2 feels like so fucking long ago now. I mean, I guess it was in the grand scheme. It's been like three, it's been like three years. That was a good game. I'll never, ever, ever replay it again for the rest of my life, ever. Cause it's fucking like 80 hours long, but good game. Good game, never gonna play it again for the rest of my life. At least not the story. Anyways. Wow, I I have way too little time to be playing through. Do you think they will make a single player DLC, Tomato? 
Absolutely not. Never. Nah. Absolutely not. A little late on that one. Uh, about four years late, and they're already making GTA 6. Uh, and definitely not. If there's one thing I know about Rockstar, it's that they totally fumbled the ball so hard on Red Dead Redemption 2 post-game release. Holy shit. They had, they had so much success out of making Undead Nightmare, and it's such a shame that they didn't fucking actually want to double down on making that, because that was like one of the best expansions for a game ever. So sad. Because I loved Undead Nightmare. I think everyone did. Undead Nightmare was so creative. Rockstar is such stupid fools sometimes. They just don't understand anything about video games. Anyways, guys, the first game I'm going to play tonight is called Night Signal. It's about watching TV. We're going to watch some TV. Whatever we plant in our subconscious mind and nourish with repetition and emotion will one day become reality. Earl Nightingale. It's kind of like based off the Twilight Zone, this game. Uh, yes. Here we are, my beautiful home. This is a picture of my great grandfather. My great grandfather, Jonathan. What is that thing? My great grandfather, Jonathan. He's such a handsome man. He looks like a potato. He got his head stuck in a fucking factory machine, all right? In the Industrial Revolution, you motherfucker. Okay? He got his head stuck inside the gears when he was but a wee lad. Okay? It took them 47 hours on the dot to peel his mangled head out of the goddamn gears. Okay? But he lived. He went on to fight in 12 world wars. Anyways. Congratulations on your new Heineken television. With your, with your install package, you should receive one remote dial, one television, and one antenna set. Your remote dial will allow you to switch stations from anywhere. Try it on for a size by clicking the dial backwards or forwards, battery included. Yo, huge batteries cost so much freaking money and we never have any. If your picture is fuzzy, try adjusting the antenna to get better signal. Warning, antenna do not operate correctly at night. Please refrain from using after sundown. Enjoy your new television. What time is it right now? Seems like the lights are on. Seems like that looks like daytime. <laughs> I don't know. That looks like daytime to me. Hang on. That's daytime, baby. You can't even see out the goddamn thing. It's so bright. All right, so this is my television control. Uh, let's see here, so if I... Not getting anything on channel 1. Uh, not getting anything on channel 2. Uh, hang on. Maybe it's a antenna problem. And oh! Now back to ball and chain. Robbie, where'd you put my car keys? I put them in the kitchen, my darling. <laughs> Huh? A place where nothing is what it should be. The fuck, space. Science is always lost and faith always misplaced. You are entering the fog space. The fog? No, I'm not. Hey, did you clean the kitchen? I did, my darling. Ruby! My keys are in the garbage disposal! Ruby, you stupid idiot. <laughs> Look at what she did again, Ruby! classic. <laughs> this ain't a fucking stuck inside the garbage Ruby, disposal. The plumber is my boss. If he sees me like this, I'm going to get fired. Oh, no. <laughs> Ruby, you fool. Can't you see what you've done is destroy his entire... And now a word huh. from our sponsor. 
They made a burping sound, I think. Gosh, this breakfast sure is... Hang on. You know there's no subtitles in this game. <laughs> okay, I tried. Boring. Just eggs, bacon, toast, potatoes, mm -hmm. country fried steak, mm -hmm. fresh fruit. Yep. I wish I could have something exciting for Yeah, them. exactly. Good news! It's Sugar Munch to the rescue! Yo, they sugar got munch Sugar Munch on this fucking- I gotta day. buy that! Every bite is full of sugar crystals so big- Yo, is that sesame seeds? Morning long. Tell your boring breakfast to take a hike. Yeah, get the- get the, the fuck out of here, you delicious munch. egg sandwich. Disclaimer. Sugar Munch is not a substitute for a real breakfast. Never is more. Boring breakfast, stay away. Sugar Munch is here to save the day. Ooh, ooh. And now, show. back to our scheduled program. And now back to Ball and Chain. Robbie, where'd you put my car key? Oh, I love these shows because it reruns every about 60 seconds. Robbie! Hang on. What's that sound? Huh? That's the sound of wisdom. Wisdom. Stop right there. I'm gonna turn off the bloom so I can actually see the TV. Cause the bloom's pretty- bloom's pretty extreme in this. I wanna actually see what's on the screen. Wisdom. Wisdom. Wisdom you can only get here. You're watching Channel One News. Oh. Welcome, folks. Oh, fuck. Fuck. That's- Benson Brown, and this is Channel One News. Hello. Today's big story is about the latest innovation in technology. The brand new Hineker oh, television set. That's my television! You have no doubt heard about these new devices, yep. as they have skyrocketed off store shelves and into the homes of Americans everywhere. Why is an ordinary television so popular? Well, convenience is key, it seems, as this set comes with a state of the art remote dial oh, yeah. that lets you access your channel dial from anywhere in your home. Oh, yeah. Between the remote dial and that crystal clear picture, it's no wonder that this is a must own item for every household. Everyone knows it. Just make if sure only my great-great-grandfather was alive. As the manufacturer does warn, there are still some kinks to work out when the huh? network stop broadcasting each night. And now, a word from our sponsor. Gosh, I need to get to work on time, but my sun seems to be cold. setting. I need to eat in the next 30 seconds or else my boss will have my head. Lucky for you, there's the zippy microwave. I need the zippy microwave. I don't have time for this. I'm, I'm going to need the zippy work. microwave. I'm also hungry. The Zippy Microwave can heat up anything in just 30 seconds. Yo, in only 30 seconds. Oh. Brings a goddamn tear to my eye every time I see it. Brings a goddamn tear to my eye every time I see it. America. This concludes our broadcast day. Hello? Oh, TV guide. When did this get here? Oh. Not much on page one. Not much on page two. Watch the signals. No one's outside. Mmm, my room's getting kind of stinky. Room's getting kind of stinky. It's just gotta be there's some kind of there's some kind of connection issue. In it. Try to get that. Whoa. Oh, oh. Cold release spacebar to surge. The hell is that? Watcher's Eye. A night dedication to eyes everywhere. Its visage brings a jolt of pep and a heart of mind to every household. 
Its surging energy is yours to wield. Look upon Watcher's eye and everything is a possibility. Be welcome, Watcher. Behold. What? Ah, uh, if only my grandfather could see me now, trapped inside of hell. Trapped inside of the hell world. Work the clock spin really quickly. If only he knew. Anyways, what's up with the fucking channel one? I wanna watch football now. What? Is this light back on? I think the sun's coming back up. Oh. Welcome, fellow watcher. Your eye has been opened. Rejoice. The more you watch, the better you'll see. See more, seek more signals tonight and let the guy teach you its blessings. Yeah, but what I really want to do is watch more TV. What I really want to do is just watch more episodes of the uh, chain, ball and chain. So if that could just. Welcome back, folks. I'm Benson Brown, and this is Channel One News. Boring. And now back to only father knows. What the fuck? I don't get two shits about. Son, let me tell you what it means to truly be a man. Yeah. Okay. Being a man, son, means never showing emotion. Damn right. With the exception of violent rage. A damn okay. right. Being a man, son, means you gotta put on real big shoes, not clown shoes. Though. No like fucking clown shoes, shoes around these parts. Man. Son, listen to me. Listen to me closely. Yeah. When you're a man, the President of the United States will come to your house and shake your hand and congratulate you on your manhood. As he should. That's how you'll know you made it. As he should. Okay. Son, I must confess something to you. The President has never shaken my hand. What? I'm a fraud, son. No. Okay. And now, oh. a word from our sponsor. Oh, we'll get back to that. Gosh, it sure is tiring having to stand up and turn the dial anytime I want to change the channel. Yup. If only there was some kind of remote dial I Next. Welcome back to Wheel Spin. Yo! Say it together, everyone. We got Wheel Spin on this fucking TV! Spin that fucking wheel now! I hope it lands on a number. Am I supposed to intervene? Oh, oh. Uh, what? And now, a word from our sponsor. But, what? Gosh, I sure am tired, but I just can't fall asleep at night thanks to my constant horrific nightmares. <laughs> what the hell to do? <laughs> Say goodbye to I'm, I'm there ever not with you, man. From I'm there ever night with you, ever night. Sweet dreaming signals straight into your dream receptors. Shut up! Rest. Shut the fuck up! Wow, finally a good night's sleep. Finally. Thanks, Inneker. After all these days. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And now, back to our scheduled program. Don't care anymore. Today's top story is about one brave little puppy named George. <gasps> Little uh, George arrived at the doorstep of a local family this morning, barking and yapping his little heart out. What was all the commotion little doggy. George had thought about? Well, it appeared that George's owner had gone missing a few nights ago, and little George managed what? to sneak out of his home and tried his darndest to help spread the word. Local authorities are now investigating the missing person, identified as 23-year-old Alice Prairie. All thanks to one brave little puppy, who will be receiving an honorary award from the police chief later this evening. Now that's what I call- Another beautiful day in America. Another beautiful day. Time to turn in. If it wasn't for the fact that I have horrible nightmares and no sleep of time radio to help me rest my weary head. This concludes our broadcast day. Instead, I guess I'll just- I guess I'll just watch TV. 
in any ways, in the dead of night, in the illegal hours. Now, this is one of my favorite episodes. I love this guy. That's the blabber. Fun, relatable conversation to have come out of a mouth. Listen with sincerity, talking about anything just as a close personal companion would in a shop for water beans. Take your time for blabber. I love blabber. What's up, blabber? <laughs> All right, I've had just about enough of blabber. Wait, hold up. Beeble wargle fruit, neeps pa wobble beeble ba poog, yippee woe deagles, pan na na shug, peel the bone, waggle waggle waggle, do not the fog, stay beeble orb, dipper the glipper, watch noopers. How'd you get all this into my house, blabber? Next channel. Relatable. Hands. <laughs> what? What's up with them, anyways? The feelers. Ticklish entertainment guaranteed to make you wiggle. The feelers send an invitation for you to take part in the shenanigan. Feel a tingle and a tickle. It may be a fantabulous fingerful feeler at your feet. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, Jesus Christ! Fuck out of here. Yeah, I don't like that channel. Oh! Hands! Hands! It's okay. Where's Blabber? Oh, not hands, champ. Fuck. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Oh. Ow. Get lost. Is it almost daytime? Go away. It's normal to be scared, Watcher, but they harm us not to punish, but to teach. Study them. See them. You're well on your way. I'll see you. What would Granddad fucking tell me to do in a situation like this if he weren't dead? If he weren't dead. If he hadn't been devoured by Blabber. Anyways. And now back to Brain Tease. There it is. Nice to meet you. Hi, Phil. Let's get into it. You look like a potato. Your first question is, what cereal is known for making you crunch, crunch, crunch all morning long? Uh, cookie crunch. Cookie crunch. Uh, I am sorry. You fucking idiot. It's the crunchy crunch. Is sugar munch. Fuck. Not a great start, Phil. Phil, you look like a damn fool right now, Phil. Which famous CEO suddenly disappeared in 1962? <sighs> Uh, Howard Hineker? That's correct! What? Wait, what? We'll be back with more of the same after these messages. What? Huh? And now... Don't care about ads. now, our local weather report with Spencer Hanson. Yeah, how's the weather going? Thank you, Benson. As you know, we've been having quite the tizzy of non-stop fog this past week. Yep, everyone knows brought. about the fog, the Today unbearable fog, the ever-present. The fog getting even thicker. Fog's getting even thicker. Starting to hear voices from the fog. Be sure to keep a sharp eye out on those roads today. Or better yet, stay indoors if you have nowhere You're to gonna be. gonna wanna stay inside and watch TV all day. Too, because baby, it's cold out there. Baby, Looking it's cold out there. five degrees today. That's what we call hot chocolate weather where I'm from. Hot chocolate Delicious. weather, all right. It's cold out Thank there. You gonna want to get yourself some hot chocolate? Thank you, Spencer. In other news, we've received word today that the West Acre Chili Contest is still going ahead as scheduled, despite Thank the fucking God. and recent disparities of last year's contest winner, Mark Fairweather. This should be great news for you chili fans out there. I fucking love chili. 
Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Thank you. And I, for one, can't wait to try what those Westacre moms can cook up. Next. And now back to Cave Family. Cave, why? Why don't you put my cave keys? I put them Fucking in love the cave this kitchen, kitchen cave, husband. Love this episode. Cave, why? Did you clean the cave kitchen? I did, cave husband. God, cave wife. She doesn't cave know anything wife. about anything. Never knows what's going on. Keys. Oh, uh, it's fucking funny. Oh no, I'll call the cave plumber. Can't do that though. Can't do that, the cave wife. How about you use your brain on this one, huh? Better get back to it then. Hey. Okay. Help! Help! Oh, that's Goo Goo. Oh, that's what it is. That's Goo Goo. Goo Goo helps you remember the small time. You are nothing. You are but pathetic flesh mass. You are small. You are melt. Desirables out of reach. Melting. You are a slime. Goo Goo brings you back the simpler time. Love Goo Goo. Love Goo Goo. You are melt. Be small. All right, I've had just about enough of it. Wait, hang on. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of fucking epic. Being this small. Goo Goo, one of my favorite guys. Anyways, I'm going to the next channel now. Goo Goo cool, though. Goo Goo cool. Kazuzu. What's that ear piercing sound? It must be Kazuzu time. This form gives way to the best in audible experience. Soundscapes for your unborn offspring to dance the night away. I'm not turning down the fucking volume. Fuck you supposed to be. He's not dying. Back off. I'm gonna need daytime to come along. I'm gonna need daytime to come along. What are you? You Kazuzu? What's your deal, man? He ain't dying. Oh, it's daytime. I think I accidentally summoned more hands. It's okay. It's just I have more, there's more hands in the room. The evil is defeated. Your eyes are adjusting. You see as you are meant to see. Do not lose faith watching. Hang on, everyone just shut up. My favorite programs are on again. I'm Benson Brown, and this is Channel One News. Hi, Ch how hi Benson. Today's breaking story is a tragic one, I'm afraid. The West Acre Chili Contest has been canceled. What? We received the news no! this morning. As the West Acre Mom Council informed us that due to another unfortunate disappearance, there would no longer be enough qualified chili tasters to judge the entries. Everyone knows you have to have a goddamn license. Is currently on the lookout for potential replacements with the right qualifications, but such talents are hard to come by. I'm so I, I could do it. 
A sad day for Jimmy. I can do it, Benson! And now, a word from our sponsor. Huh. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Yeah, we're not getting very good service today. I think it's something to do with the unpenetrable fog. Yeah, I can't even enjoy my favorite television channels today, chat. What a fucking shame. We're talking about clown shoes. Well, today was- today sucked. I think today sucked, but God bless America, you know what I mean? I- You know, in the words of- In the words of ba the babbler himself, Beeble Wargle through. Sometimes you can't win them all. You can't win them all, Beeble Barble. Fuck you. Ah, Shrinky Boy! What the fuck is that? Oh, fuck! Flathead makes your top drop. Tops need to not be top with flathead. Enjoy the crumble of tops as they descend. You can be a flathead too. Sing a song of flat and merriment. Crumble, 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 crumble. You guys are really making this hard today. Time for thought with sweets. Thought of the unknown. Make unheard wishes to those inside the fog. Your wish come true? Sweets knows it won't, but sweets can't be stopped. Sweets must wish. Keep wishing. Keep wishing. That was a bad day. I got squished by Flathead. Goddamn America! Goddamn America! I swear to God. Alright, I'm not gonna let that channel kill me again. I ain't gonna let it get me. This concludes our broadcast day. I may have television channels trying to kill me, but at least I know I'm free to watch them. Shouting one. Silent shouts make the day slide. Feel strong raw anxiety inside. Let it out, let it ride. You know what you are afraid? Scream as loud as you can, but noise do not. It's almost time, but not yet. Shout now or shout never. Uh, ah! Ah. Next channel. Beasel. Laughing antics and chortle experiences are provided for the whole family unit. Join Beazle every night and share in the belly fun. If you can't make time for Beazle, Beazle will surely make time for you. Fuck that meme, Beazle. Hey, Beazle. The fuck that meme, Beazle? Beazle, how about you stay the hell in the TV where you belong? That might be the most unsettling sentence I've ever read in my whole life. Gonna make time for me if I can't make time for you. Guys, Beezel ain't really can't hurt us. Hands! Ah, oh, fuck. We got hands, channel. Ow. Fuck em. Let's change the, uh... Humdrum, the bug of one and only. Humdrum wants to make the bad in your body feel good again. Let your fleshy fruit blossom bloom with the hum. Space your thoughts and have no quarrel with the humdrum. Humdrum good, they heal. 
Humdrum heal. He healed me. Humdrum is okay. Thanks, Humdrum. Ow. Thanks, Humdrum. Hands, god fucking damn it. Getting real sick of hands channel. No one likes watching hands channel. Getting real sick of hands. Get out of here. Almost everyone I know hates hands. Bad bull. What's up, man? What's up, babbler? Aw, uh, that ain't blabber. Blabber, babbler, blab. This might be my favorite channel on the whole network, and honestly, if I had to be stuck watching one for the rest of eternity, I'd be hanging out with Blabber. Hello? Oh, fuck, he did make time for me! <laughs> Get lost, man! I'm not alone in the house! Can you hear? I have, a, I have a friend in here with me! Fuck off! I have a friend with me right now. I'm not alone. Keep blabbing. Oh, 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 the, day, the day shifted. He came in, but the day changed. Beasel, don't come back. The days become shorter as the nights grow longer. The glorious fog is coming to take the faithful. Seek more signals, grow your knowledge. The everlasting night is nearly upon us. But my channels. But my shows. Can't even watch the fog space anymore. This channel fucking TV's ruined. <sighs> TV's ruined. Chat, TV's fucking ruined. Fog is ruining every. What the fuck was that? All the good shows are fucking broken. Still pissed about that chili contest? Any God-fearing American would be, okay? What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. Quackers. Quack, quack, quack. It is quackers. Mouthful of bread. Flutter and swim so swell. Swollen so wet. Gristle and crunch with the tune of quack. Whole family is entertained by quacking. Hey! In flying hands now? What's up? What's up, bomb drum? I don't remember what this one is, but it doesn't seem like they're doing much to me aside from fuck up my walls. Oh no. Ah, hands! Stop! Huh? 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 Oh, fuck! You're the only thing keeping me alive, melty guy. You're like the only thing keeping me alive in these trying times. Thanks, Goo Goo. Do I just hang out like this until the sun comes up? You should watch Goo Goo. Goo Goo is just about the only chance we have of surviving. Skelly Welly. Skelly is pleasing to your bones. Feel your bones. Listen to them. They desire the soil and Skelly Welly aims to please. Skelly gives the gift of soil to all watchers that wish. Wish for your bones. Hi. Hang on, I'm getting a call. I'm not alone in the house right now, Beasel. Fuck out! Ow! Ah, get the fuck away from me! Mr. Bones!
Watch your back. Skelly takes more damage than others, but can be killed. Brings a goddamn tear to my eye. God bless America. We all have chili in our hearts. We all have chili in our hearts. Our broadcast day. God, I love chili. Nah, that's not a good show. Yup. We just hang out with Blabber. Blabber's the only... Blabber, Blabby's the... Ow, fuck you, dude. What's your problem? Blabber's the only good guy in the entire fucking station. What's this one? The Night Orb! Oh my god. That's the fucking Night Orb. Tell it like it is. That's the motivation of this sacred orb. Witness the light of forbidden knowledge. Feel the vibration of your skull. Know it is truth in your sensations. Keep the secrets deep inside your brain hole. Ow! Fuck! Orb. Orb. <gasps> Orb. The, the orb. Yeah, I think we just don't do anything but watch this television channel. The orb is really good. I love the the norb. I love the norb. That's short for night orb. Hello. Hey, Beazle. Hang on. Goo goo. There's a- there's some things we're missing here. There's like some that we desperately need to avoid no matter what. Diesel can fuck off. Feelers on channel four. We don't want to fuck with feelers. Humdrum channel four with both up across. We should go to it. I don't even know what I just fucking heard. Oh, Skelly Welly. I'm on humdrum, motherfucker. You guys can't kill me, and I have the norb. What a fucking hell, you can't kill me. Got him. Fuck off! Humdrum, man. You gotta back me up. My fucking table! Skelly Welly. He's about to get the shit kicked out of him. He ever shows his face around here again. That was an antique. Daytime. Daytime. Fuck off. Go away already. The time is nigh. Watchers, night is upon us. Tonight the faithful will be saved. Find the remaining gaps in your knowledge. Seek signal wisdom in its entirety, and you too may experience the eternal bliss of the fog. Okay. Hey, at least the orb's with me all the time now. Seems like most people are dead. At least Norb is still here. What a cool little game this has been. We got more stuff after, so don't worry. But, uh, this one's very unique. What's it called? Night Signal on Steam. Anyways, it's about time for the sun to set. And when it does, I'm gonna be ready. 
These don't have like a meaningful progression. They're all kind of random. But looking at this for the most part, it seems like the one that I need to do is everything across like base channels. It seems like I'm missing a lot of channels with this. I'm missing many that are like the split antennas. So we're gonna do split antennas. America. Quacker. Stop. Stop. Hey, humdrum. The hell was that? Was there something outside? Yo! Wait, what is that? Humdrum, you seeing that shit? Dude, I didn't even go to your channel today, you ass. What are you doing here? Beasel, what's your fucking problem anyways? Aw, oh, I hate hands. I really do hate hands. And now Beasel's gonna be following me around all night again. And these hands are just being total rascals about the whole thing. Well, at least now we have sweets again. Beasel, fuck off, man. Besides, I'm fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. I'm in total control. I'm in total control and I'm not dying. I'm not dying and I'm not owned. Yeah, I think most of my organs were taken out by that channel. I'm okay. I don't think you can kill Beasel. I think Beasel's just Beasel. What happens if you touch me, Beasel? Hey! I hate Beasel. You gotta make time for him. I have an idea. Where's Beasel? Channel two. Fine, let's make some fucking time for Beasel. I got all night. America. America. This concludes our What's up, Beasel? How you been, man? I've been having a good day. What about you? Ah, uh, right on, man. You know, I'm sorry we haven't had much time to talk. I've been really busy with work and stuff lately. And, you know, I've been kind of overwhelmed. A lot of this stuff going on that, you know, I really don't think... I don't really think you need to... I need to tell you. I don't want to bring you... I mean, I could let you know. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, if you, if you really want to know, I just don't really want to, like, bring down the conversation talking about, you know... My horrible, horrible, irrational fears. My horrible fears. But, I mean, he's out here supporting. I, I guess I can do that. Yeah, I, uh... So, I... The other day, I got attacked by, a, like, a big squirrel. Like, you'd think, like, a squirrel, like, uh, the normal... It was about the size of a soccer ball. Which, uh, most... But I mean that in the sense that if it was shaved, it'd be about the size of a soccer ball. So, it was a little bit larger than that. And it came at me pretty fast. Um, like a, kind of like a, like a cannon right at my face. And it, uh, it was just really, it was just really scary. Really not much else happened. I kicked it really fucking hard and it, it hit the, it hit the tree behind it and it fucking died. I just, I felt really bad ever since. I felt really bad because it was like, I don't, I don't know if that squirrel was trying to, it, yeah, it looked a lot like a big raccoon, honestly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wait, what? Beasel, you can't fucking say that, Beasel. Beasel, what the fuck? You can't just say that, Beasel. What the fuck is your problem? I did not think you were this kind of guy, Beasel. 
Beazle. It's only 1963 in the video game. Beazle. Okay, here in 2022, you can't fucking say shit like that anymore. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. I... I gotta get the fuck out of here. I don't know. I, I, maybe you just stop talking for a little bit. All right, Beazle? I have to change the channel, chat. But if I do, Beazle's gonna come fucking kill me. Surely, Beazle feels like I've given him enough of my time. <laughs> well, the true gaze. Gaze gives sight to the watching. Let gaze see inside. Gaze gives the eyes the strength to fulfill. Be fulfilled and seek the new truth. Feel proximity to the fog and rejoice. Granddad, what did they fucking do to you, man? I'm just waiting for... I'm just waiting for him to show up, you know what I mean? Alright, so which one of these is... I need to avoid... Beazel now, like the fucking plague. Wait, maybe now that I have this, maybe I switch to channel 2, Watcher's Eye. I just can't do channel 2, 1 to the left. To the moon. Oh no. Beazle, what the fuck do you want from me, Beazle? Hubs. Hubs knows what is the best. He's the one and only Hubs. The ground on which you stand is slow, weak, gooey in Hubs' righteous eyes. You cannot live up to Hubs' standards. Hubs sounds like a really toxic fucking guy. I'm gonna go to the next channel. Oh no. Oh no. Skelly, fuck off. Stop. I hate sweets. Stop. Everything's going wrong today. Beasel? Beezle looks like he does take damage, because whenever I hit him with this, his eyes light up. Oh, no. Skelly, stop! I'm gonna have to fucking kill Beezle. I don't care how long it takes. If he can die, I'm gonna blast him. Beezle. Fucking die already. The final signal has now appeared. Quack, 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 it's quack. Wait, where's the final signal then? The final signal has now appeared. Okay, what signal are we missing? Fuck, I have to actually do this? Hang on, I need I need a piece of paper. I gotta get to the final signal. Uh, I need I need a piece of paper. Uh, yeah, I'll use this priceless tax document. Oh wait, no, it's just a bill. Who cares? Okay, pen and paper. There's only four channels, right? Yeah, but they're all some. The problem is I have to be more careful than that because I can just fucking die. Some of them will just kill me, and I have Beazle chasing me around. So currently. I'm going to do channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4. Split it by the numbers of those. Uh, on channel 2, hang on. 1, 2, 
three, four, five. Okay, I had to like actually do a graph with this. This is so convoluted. This is so convoluted for this. But I have, I want to, I want to do this by the books. I want to do it right. Okay. All right. Okay. So we have two, two. Check. That's page one. Page two. We have two on that one. Check. That's Beazle. Channel four, like that. Check. Okay. Channel three, split. Check. All right, channel three, like that. Check. Dude. Channel three, vertical. Check. We're narrowing it down. Channel four, split. Check. Channel one, blabber. Love the fucking guy. Everyone loves blabber. Probably my, f I think I, we can all agree now. Fucking check. We all love blabber. Everyone thinks blabber's the best one. Flathead, check. Channel four, hubs. Two vertical. All right, everything on channel, everything with two vertical lines, like two vertical antenna, not it. Uh, we did them. Channel two, split. Check. Channel one. Nope, got it. Channel two, that. Nope, but we all love Goo Goo as well. Channel four, like that. Nope, we're down to the last two. Channel three. It's, okay, yeah, it's channel one, split antenna on both. Oh no. Fuck no! Dude, come on! These fucking things. Hubs. Oh, hubs. Okay. It wasn't actually that channel. I guess it was just random. Wait, no, it was. I got there. Channel one. This is it. And the Norb was with us the whole way. I did it right. My TV got even larger. I got an upgrade widescreen. Wait. Okay. Oh. Oh. The door. Only wide open eyes can see. Can you see? Can you hear? Wishes. Tastes. And good noises await those who enter. Enter and be free of the soil. Be free of the static. Be free of feet. Be free of mind. Enter. Or do not leave. What is this harvester? This is like this is like some like <laughs> I don't know why it gave me cutscene from harvester vibes. The Norb. We're finally going to heaven to do that chili cook-off, like we always wanted. Wait, the last day of the chili cook-off was today! We missed it! We're... We missed it! No! This is your fault. This is all your fucking faults. Yours and Kevin's. Kevin MacLeod's. Good game. That one was great. That was a... 
awesomely creative little horror game. I kind of want to look through this. Oh yeah, this is actually like I missed some of these. Well, actually no, this was this was like these are some. I loved the art. I think it was all very, very good. Yeah, that shit was great. All right, next game. Uh, next one's gonna be a short one by uh someone who we've done horror games of before. Uh, they put out another one. I really like their stuff. So they're next up. Uh, it's called Carbon Steel. Chilla, not chilla. Not chilla. Oh, not interested then? Damn. Really? Yeah, Mike Klubnica made uh, that like time dilation game with the testing that we played and some of the other like weird, like weird simulator things. He put out another one, so uh, we're gonna play it. It'll probably only be like five, 10 minutes of a game, and then we'll go on to the next one. But, uh. Well, I just gotta play it. You know me. Shuttle four. Passport. Shuttle eight. You. Papers, please. Uh, yeah. Here you go, ma'am. <laughs> uh, shuttle one. Oh. Have a good day, ma'am. I... What's that supposed to mean? I was just saying. What do you mean, what's that supposed to mean? That's just how I talk. What was with your tone? That's literally how I talk. You guys are fucking being a little, little toxic recently. You had an attitude. You have an attitude right now. You have an attitude. This is your attitude. Stop trying to ruin my trip to Disneyland. <laughs> I finally got on the shuttle to go to Disneyland 52, and you're trying to ruin it. Let me enjoy Disneyland. You have a good day, sir. Oh, sorry. Sir. <laughs> Black Mesa Research Facility. Where's Barney? Wait, the door's locked. Oh. <clears throat> oh. Is that a bad, is that a dead body? Barney? He's probably fine. Anyway, let me check my email from Anon to me. Greetings from the research team. You'll be carrying out the main sample pull from the pit, which hosts a multitude of pressure-treated organisms. After the pull is successfully completed, you will hand the data over to the team. As we discussed, this job will take a total of three days. We are still in the middle of setting up some of the equipment. Please enter your holding cell. Oh. Okay. That is, uh... That is not ideal. Hang on, this game's really dark. I'm gonna turn up the brightness a little. There used to be more brightness, but I had to redo everything on OBS. Everything. So we'll turn this up a little. Could also use a little bit more saturation because it's also not accurate to me and my stream and what I see. 
There we go. Think I think it was fine for the last game because obviously the light was being the important part was the screen, but uh, this one yeah it's a little it's a little dark so this is better for this one. Ah well, going to sleep. Wish I could afford one of those poop holes, dude. Just grab a shovel and dig a hole. <laughs> well, looks like. Looks like stuff's working properly now. And the body's gone. That's good. Carrier vessel console, no life form detected. Controls unlocked. Hold main lever to initiate ascent. Well, let's take a kind of look around before I commit to anything. So you got carrier vessel console. All right, here we have all the. Nope, that's the main lever, but I'm not about to pull it yet. Insert canister. Yeah, we don't want to fuck with that. And what do we have here? Anesthesia formulator. Insert canister. Continue. Okay. Everything a man could need, we have right here. Including these canisters. Full of some kind of artifact. Good morning. We are ready to begin. Raise the life form vessel with the main control lever. It will automatically surface. You will find a blank data cell in the canister rack along with empty anesthesia canisters. The life form must be unconscious for the duration of the data pull. Procure the correct mixture using the subclass weight data tables. Please begin. We are eager to get started. Okay. All right. Well, let's get the lever up. Let's pull up the life form. First and foremost. Oh. Uh. Class Charlie. Origin depth 1,027 meters below the surface of the Earth. Howdy there, Charlie. Nice to meet you. I'm, uh... Sound like a... Sound, sound a little grumpy. Don't worry, we'll, uh... Get you chilled out. Post haste. Let's get you, uh... Let me just get you some... Get you chilled out here. How, uh, how does any of this work? Yeah, definitely, um... Charlie, it's only gonna be like one second here, Charlie. Just gotta figure out how, um... How this job... This is my first day in the job. So just give me a second, Charlie. And then we'll have you on your way as fast as we can here. Uh, stop jostling. Please stop jostling the cage. Please. Uh, let me just... Okay. That's not doing anything. Hey. That sound you're making? Unnecessary and uncalled for. Stop! Are you sliming in there, man? Calm it down. Now, I'm having this issue where I don't know what to do, which is uh, really just. Are you want this? Can't give it to him. Ah. Uh, I think I gotta do something with the anesthesia, but I beefed it. Oh, wait. What is this? Oh, I gotta put in this stuff for the right class. So we're dealing with a Charles here. Okay, Charlie. Let's see here. So, uh, let's... Okay, now we got the data. We just gotta check here. Charlie, 107 units of weight. Boy, oh boy, Charlie. I'm going to get you four nitrous, one iso, and 95 SIBO. Oh, we're going to have to check your subclass first. Well, subclass SC2. Charlie, got to stop making those slime sounds. Okay, 22, 10, 68. Okay. Okay. 
I seem to be a little confused. This is the anesthesia. Okay, so first of all, let's get the nitrous oxide in there. We gotta make sure this guy's, uh... All right, 22 nitrous. Let's get that in there. Charlie, don't worry. We're gonna have that anesthesia for you any second now. Get you on your way. Oh, I fucked up the whole thing. Sorry, Charlie. So I'm gonna take one more second. Please stop making those sounds. Quiet down in there. Please stop making those moaning, horrible moaning sounds. I'm struggling to get the goo out of the machine. Charlie, is this your first time doing this? Or do you know, uh... Kind of like how this works. Boy, oh boy, I really look like a I bet he's cringing really hard right now. Oh, there's a fucking t microscopic lever here. Okay. I just couldn't see it. It was blending in with the thing. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, Charlie. Uh, 22, 10 on the ISO. And 10, go. And, uh, what, what do we have here with the Sevo Fleur Lane? Sevo Fleury Lane. Dutin. It's not about being a Dutin. 68. Sevo. Alright. Stop jostling! Last warning! Swear to God, man. Alright. Alright. This, this needs to go away. Get in there. Locked and loaded. Cool it. Dude, I'm getting close to having surgery, and if my fucking surgeon said to me, cool it, like they were doing, like, the Mr. Freeze voice... From fucking Batman. I would find a way to overpower even the strongest sedatives as they knock me out to run out of the hospital. I'd I'd wake myself up through even the most powerful of drugs. Chill out. And then just fucking like turns a little nozzle and sedates me. Holy shit. Well, he's unconscious. What's next? <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, next we gotta extract the, uh, the data. Go ahead and get that in there. Do some extraction. Is this, uh, even safe to carry? This seems unsafe. Uh, okay. Enjoy. Oh, I go to sleep now? It's still here, though. Okay. Poop hole. And sleep. Just a ball of screams. True. True. Mm. Hello? I was sipping water. Hey, uh, boss? <coughs> boss? <coughs> boss? <coughs> boss? Charlie? Charlie! I'm sure you're wondering where that glowing soul is we extracted from you. I don't know. I'm just as confused as you are. No life form detected controls. On I'm just gonna go ahead, Charlie. Charlie, I'm gonna have to just send you. 
Oh, it's just a... It's just a dream. I was gonna send him back down. It's just a dream. None of that was real. Can't know... Good work. Yep. Your work yesterday was excellent. The data you pulled far exceeded our expectations, especially considering the fact that this laboratory hasn't been in use for decades. The engineer has finished setting up the old surface analyzer. You can use it to pinpoint exact data class measurements from otherwise unknown life forms. This will aid us in gathering even better data. If your work continues at this pace, then we will have big plans for you. Cool, cool. Cool, what do I do today? I have to pull up something else. Okay. Well, another day, another, uh, uh, another day, and hang on. Another day, another dollar, chat, as you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's a living. That thing says threat level three, and I can't even dump it unless I'm an admin. And it doesn't have a class or subclass. How's it going? Now we don't have a uh, we don't have a class or subclass for you, so I'm thinking I'm gonna thinking we can workshop a name together right now based off of the sounds you make. Mm. Hearing the lost sounds like bubbles, but also like jostles. So I'm gonna call you Jubbles. There's a lot of jostling around in there, so I'm gonna call you Jubbles. All right, Jubbles, so here's the deal. Uh, we have to get you processed, okay? Uh, I haven't done it at this speed in a long time, but we're gonna go ahead and... Oh, fuck, how do I even... Oh God, he's jubbling around. Oh, we need the other ones. See, weight 119 class and subclass unknown we're just gonna have to freestyle anesthesia on him which is really another thing that I think would make me immediately wake up if I was being knocked unconscious Delta class chat I don't know how to not I don't know what to do Well, we know he's a threat level three. Oh, what? What? What is this? Read carefully. The contents of this disc will be erased once ejected. We haven't met, but I'm the engineer. I overheard a conversation from the researchers. You're in trouble. I'm working on getting you out. I've taken one of the data cells. You'll give it tomorrow marked with an X. You'll find it tomorrow marked with an X. Give it to the researchers once you're done. I won't hang around for long. It's either tomorrow or never. See you soon. Oh. Fuck is that a living tum- I only gotta look at it at the very end. What was that a living tumble? What the fuck are you? Jubbles, you freak. What are you, a living pile of hair? Now, if I had to guess, possible class life form, okay. Potential life form, okay, we just have to do. Jubbles, I know you want out, man, but so do I, okay? And it's real easy to send you back. Ain't so easy to send me back. So let's have patience with me, all right? What even are you, a big pile of worms? What is this? Troubles, do you have a knife? What is that sound? What are you scraping? 
Cool it. Why don't you just chill out? All right, we're dealing with another Charlie SC3. Okay. That's easy, at least. So I'm going to be looking for a disc marked, a, a, a canister marked with a cross. I guess. So, uh, what was it again? Charlie subclass three. So how, what's his weight? <laughs> One nineteen. Okay. Forty-two, sixteen, forty-two. We copy that. Copy that. <sighs> Fucked up by one. Forty-two. 16 and then rest of the way 42 check all right jubbles here's the deal i'm knocking you unconscious i've heard about enough of it shut up take a chill pill really wants to not die yeah and i really want to not die too dude okay and that's why i do what i do extract his soul we get it all right let's get the hell out of here tomorrow we're leaving tomorrow we out of here, chat. For good, for good. For real. Your room disgusts me? Not my room. Okay, I mean, yeah, I'm sleeping in it, but I didn't make it. Okay? But at the same time, the poop hole is very nice. You could clean it? With what? With what? The two rolls of toilet paper? With what? I could clean it, they say. I need those rolls of toilet paper so I can wipe my ass. As you would normally use toilet paper to do. Oh, did you think that my fucking toilet hole, my, my actual shit hole had a bidet in it so maybe perhaps i wouldn't need to no i need all that toilet paper okay and it's like one ply it wouldn't even it doesn't have any it doesn't have any absorption of any kind it's a mess down there okay i need those i need i need those toilet toilet rolls you're gonna be here for a few days and you need two whole rolls. I don't come at you guys about your fucking problems, which let's be honest, we all know you have. We all know you all have your own unique problems. Mine is that I need a lot of toilet paper. Okay? I'm not, I'm breathing in a lot of bad chemicals down here. And most of what I'm getting is just some kind of nutrition slurry. All right. Get off my case. Or I'm gonna be sending you down the hole. One way trip. Express. No refunds. 30 minutes or it's free. Uh. <coughs> <coughs> what? Huh? Weight 164, origin depth 54, 100 meters. Uh, threat level five. There it is. That's the one we need to use. Oh, fuck! 
Huh? Huh? Give me this! I gotta knock this guy out! We're dead. He's just smacking. Come on, really? Ba, 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 ba. We're dead. We're dead. Charlie SC3. Dude, put the disc in! We're dead. We're not gonna be able to make it. SC3, 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 SC3. How heavy was he? 164. 52, 20, 28. Now we're dead. <gasps> oh. It was a fucking dream. See, a lot, I'm getting the dreams again really bad because there's a lot of methane wafting in from the poop hole. A lot of methane is wafting up. Uh, it's almost like there's a fan down there pushing it up at the force at which it's being pushed out. Jesus Christ, man. Control your aim. That was there when I got there. The last guy. Okay. I had it bad. So where's that one with the X? There it is. Somehow uncanny. Still in the same spot. What are the odds? The last guy, Copium. He was real. He was real. He was real, dude. Sure, it was already there. We all watched the same stream. Uh, uh oh. It's doing it again. God. If you're there, what's up? Think it's fucking funny? Beta SC2. That's Charlie. Beta. What cla- how heavy? 110? 140, 10, 50. So 50, 10, 40. Christ. Is it again? Oh, you can't run in this game, dude. I'm dead again. There's no fucking way. I can't remember this shit fast enough. Yeah, I'd have to have all this stuff preemptively set up. Nah, it's over. I can't do it. Okay, I have to I have to have this all open like beforehand and like ready to go. There's no way. This dream sucks. Not using the X one? Are you dumb? Uh, because I need to I need to put it unconscious first. Uh, there's a reason I'm not using the X one, because that's to extract uh, DNA. Please read your emails. Once again, the data you provided is excellent. Well done. We are now ready to begin the final poll. The vessel has been honed for far lower depths than earlier, meaning that this organism will be exceptionally violent. Use a newly equipped fabricator to repair the exterior of the ve carrier vessel. Prevent it from breaking through. You told me I have a fucking laser gun. I hate this. I hate my life. I fucking hate my life. One last pull.
one last pull. I mean, I'd get agitated too if I got pulled up from uh, like five kilometers beneath the surface of the earth and then someone shined a fucking laser into my eyes. I'd be so mad if this like jabroni did this to me. Light the flashing. That's a bright light. Cover up your eyes. You're supposed to use a fucking welding mask for this. You're supposed to use a welding machine for this kind of stuff, chat. Beta SC1. Wait. 5153. One, five, three. 23, 27, 50. 23, 27, 50. I already have it in. Goes from bottom to top, so first one. Twenty-three. Twenty-seven. Press your eyes! Just about enough of this! Armed, locked, and loaded. I lived. I lived. Which means that that idiot fell five kilometers back down to Earth. Back down to inner Earth where he fucking belongs, okay? He fell five kilometers and fucking splatted, all right? Welcome, welcome back to the center of Earth, okay? <laughs> I'll see you later. Tram, let's get the fuck out of here. This isn't really a big like getaway. I mean, they're, they're, they'll be able to catch us. It's a line, but thank you. Okay, maybe it's faster than I thought. Thanks. What's your name, handsome? Not man, not man of many words, huh? I can dig. That was a great one. 
it's surprising that the, the, there was a game that was made uh, by this guy with this format that didn't involve my character fucking dying. That was refreshing for once. Usually he dies. Usually the character fucking dies. <laughs> Usually the monster gets him. But that was a good one. That was great. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Next game. This one's received kind of ich reviews, but um, I think that's people trying to like get to 100% and beat it. I'm not planning on doing that. We're going to kind of give it a look and then move on because it's been in my fucking library for weeks. Uh, it's called The Fridge is Red. Uh, we will not be beating it, but uh, I want to at least give it a, a look-see because some of it's pretty interesting. And it is red, it is, it is. The fridge is red. Wow. As was advertised, it is. Can't read any of that. There it is. That's the fridge. Uh, so it looks like we have a choice between eating brains or eyeballs. Fidgeted sherry. Nah. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Game? Game audio? Desktop audio? I have to restart. I have to unplug this and replug it back in. Hang on. Bruce! Hold on to something! I fixed it. New mixer, same problems. Well, yeah, but a very minor problem compared to having one PC set up and having uh, games not even be capturable ever. Very minor problems when you think about all the miseries that other streamers have to deal with. All the time. Huh. So what's up, Fridge? It seems like if I don't look at you... Oh. Is it tall? Um. Oh, oh. Do not take your eyes away from the from the fridge. No matter what you do, do not take your eyes away from that fucking fridge. What is this one? It's been nine hours. The fridge is not responding. Hey! I won't tolerate tomfoolery. Stop. Stay awake. It's been G hours. I found a doll at the fridge and Lori's drawings were lying next to it. Get this out of the way. Get this can't see. Where's the fridge? Where's it? It's gonna throw everything I read away. So I know I don't need it. If I find out his name, I'll be able to leave. Don't need that one anymore. What's this? Stay awake! His name is Defrig. Stay awake! What are you falling asleep for? The character like does it. All right, I found the name. Easy. Get that out of here. His name is Defrig. So Defrig, um, have I won? I know your weak spot. Okay. Let's get that out of here. And I mean really get it. And I mean really get it out of there. Uh, what have we here? I won't let you out of my sight. Get that the fuck out of here, too. All right. All right, Defrig. Let's all... Hey, let's all just calm down. That's an angry fucking fridge, I'll tell you what. 
Oh, get out of here. I. It wants me to look at it. I mean, we can do that. That's not bad. That's not. That's not hard. Did the doll move? Hey, what's your problem? I don't like that. If you found this note, then then it hard absorbed me. What the fuck that mean? What the fuck that one? What does that one mean? Then it hard absorbed me? Well. Well, Dolly, seems like we're really in the shit this time. <laughs> this might be our second craziest adventure. Mr. Fridge likes Ellie's song, Lala. Lala. Get out of here. Daddy, get that the fuck out of here. Get that out of here. Ooh. Help! Help! They say out of here too. God, I wish I was better at throwing things. E. L. L. E. G. Egg. Egg. Stay awake! This box is useless! Get it out of here! Dag. Dig. You think you've won? We'll see. Defig. <sighs> Chill, man. No one wants any trouble. Little princess. What does this say? I lost Mr. Fridge's magnetic letters. Sounds like they're not my problem. Now it is clear why the house was so cheap because of the cursed fridge. I'm glad I'm really good at tossing all these papers. Hi, balls. I'm looking for one more fucking letter, I think. I'm looking for one letter. There's gotta be one letter. The name's not that frig, it's, it's not that, it's not the fig. We're missing a letter. There's gotta be one around here, I just gotta keep sleepy. Just gotta. You hiding it, lady? I opened the fridge and it, uh, it, it was a big bright light. What's this? 4 daddy to work. Another day, another dollar here at the old work factory. This is my favorite can of old seaside chocolate pudding. You got me? You hung up. All right, go fuck yourself then. That's my favorite big quarter. Anyways, time to get to time to get home. That weird man's been eyeballing me all day. 
gonna get on home before he comes on by and kills me. I have to turn off the lights, or the cleaning lady will grumble again. The cleaning lady that old bag's been grumbling for the last 12 years. Before I leave, I have to turn off my computer. Last I checked, I did turn off that computer, but I guess some things never change. Some things never do. I have to turn off the lights, or the cleaning lady will grumble again. Just wanted to make sure there wasn't someone outside. Alright, everyone knows me by my name, get in the elevator. But I'll tell you what. I've always loved this job. I really have. I work alongside another 20 get in the elevators. It's a family business. We all get in the elevator, if you know what I mean. Yep. I'm gonna take one soda, thank you very much. I feel good now. That right there was Paul getting the elevator, one of the, one of the really the nastiest folk in this entire building. It's not surprising he wouldn't want to talk to me before I go home. Nasty how? Mean. Mean, not nice. Anyways, the elevator arrived and I climbed on in and I told it I wanted to go all the way to floor zero. He brought chili to the potluck after I said I'd bring chili. Paul has a fucking absolute shot, like a, a full on list of problems that make anyone want to hate his guts. Anyways, after that encounter with that ghoul, I said, anyways, after that encounter with that ghoul, I want to go back to floor zero. Thank you very much. It was then when I realized I was falling to the 900th floor of the building. I was in big trouble. It wasn't getting any better. I called an operator. They were going to see if they could pull me up from floor 10,000, negative 10,000. I wasn't planning on it. No, the hell are you? Hi, there's someone in the bones of the elevator. We're just going to go ahead and put that right on back. Okay, thank you. I'm just gonna press buttons. There's like some kind of like Spider-Man creature in this uh, in this elevator. I'm not really sure what's. Uh okay. Thanks for letting me know, I appreciate it. How long is it gonna take though? I, I, am, I am so busy with other things in my life. I really, I really would love to have this done. You are fed up with the music. You can have the cold fifty six thousand. Six hundred and fifty-six percent of the music will stop. 
but I love this music. I've had just about enough of it for the day, so I punched in six, 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 six. Oh, oh. oh my god! That can't be good. All right, I stopped it. And thus, we were all saved. Now, how the hell do I... How, where's that guy, anyways? We've been falling for... Hello? 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 Oh my god. Where the hell are we? Ah, <laughs> What is all this? Where's the fridge? Where's the fucking fridge? Where is it? Oh. Fridge Chan? Fridge Chan? Are you here? Oh my god. Oh my god. B -b 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 blood and piss water. Oh no, we're in the we're in the really bad part of the office where the walls ooze blood and slime. Is, what is even this supposed to be? Because I get... When I look at it, I think about a kind of, like, tooth creature. Like a... Like a biblically accurate rendition of, like, the tooth fairy. Or something like that's what the That's what the tooth fairy looks like. Eye, eye, tooth-looking body. That's a biblically accurate version of the tooth fairy. Is, like, what I keep thinking when I, when I walk by this. Sideways T-Rex. No, I'm not seeing that one. I'm not seeing it. You must be a fool to believe that. Hello? Oh. Fuck. I already used my one quarter. If I don't- if only I'd known how- Hello? If you need quads. Look in the tooth lock. Wait, operator. I thought uh, you died. Yeah, man, you look like you need to. Your eye, the bags on your eyes are insane. You gotta go to sleep, man. What the fuck's going on with your eyes? You need some sleep. That can't be healthy. Anyways, how do I find that locker room? Definitely not down here. What's that sound? I'm hearing like the sound of slime? What's good? Beware of the open elevator shift. Where's the- hey man, so where is the locker room? What the hell was that sound? Oh, here we go. J1. It's a crayons in there. You know, I'm glad he's having fun. W. Craven. Flashlight. Probably use that, yeah. T. Savini. 
I'll be drinking that now. I feel good. This is Jay Carpenter. W. Friedkin. I get it. I get all these. I get it. 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 I'm not. I'm owned. I'm owned. I was going to drink that. I was going to drink that. T. Could. Ah! Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and close that back up. Our Serling. Oh my god. Holy shit. Our Hardy. What the fuck? Oh, more drink. Coin. Drink. It ain't June. This this calendar sucks, man. It isn't June. Eyeball. Well, now that we got a coin, it's time to do our work. Mm, I'm gonna use the other one. Also, I need to know what's like around here. So there's a, there is a pipe that's bursting. It's keeping me from going too far farther this way, yep. I can't actually buy anything from this one. Hey, man. Uh. Oh. Well, I did something. Guess I'll use that other, uh. If you need coins, look in the tooth block. Guess I'll use uh, the other coin on this one then. Tim Goodrow. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and start up the generator then. I'll be back. All right, get that turned off. Head on back on up. Get that generator turned off and then we'll be taking the elevator down. Getting, uh, getting on home to my loving family. Ow. Be alert to all hazards, true. Not sure if I'm gonna get jumped or something when I do this. All right, let's go. I think we want to go back upstairs now and get the fuck out of here. We're going back up the elevator. Everything should be working now. Everything should be fine now. Elevators should be working a okay. But just to be sure, I'm gonna check what's down. How are you? What is this? Why are you here? How's that even? Okay, go ahead and turn that off. Don't know why you'd want that. Oh, what? Lori story directed by Lori. All right, Lori. I'd love to just say that I can enjoy this as is, but I'm going to pick it apart critically if it sucks. Your hands are in the fucking shots, you amateurs. Get your hands out of the shots. You don't see that in the fucking Muppets, do you? The single, the single, can I get a, can, all right, we, we were a little bit critical of the hand thing. Let's watch this for what it is this time. Okay, so there's a T, 
There's tea. The papa come in and so does the child. And then in come the mama. And they dance. And then mom leaves and gets in a chair with wheels. And then the papa and the mama still dance, even though I find that... I don't know, I find it a little bit strange that the daughter just fucking nothing throughout the entire thing. Really, it's like, uh, hire a better actress. Hire a, hire a better actress, like, do something out there. You're basically just being paid to stand in the spot. And you know, you could have, you could have, like, a still image, do something like that. Three out of ten, Norb was a better show. Almost every show we watched earlier today, better than that one. Child actors, Krungo. They don't understand anything. Totally stiff. Oh! Elevator's not working again. Stop. Welcome to the stinky zone. Oh, we're falling again. Stop. I said, stop. I said, stop. Help. Well, there's like slime oozing from the walls. How long has this been here? Oh, now this is a real episode of TV. Where's Bla- where's Blabber? Where's Blabber? Nine, I saw a nine there. Nine, a zero. See another nine. And five. Two. I missed the middle one was the problem. Now do this again. I think it's 90952. I need to go back through again. 9 1 No, 910. I thought the hand was it. 91092. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Whatever that was, we're outy. I'm not doing it. Bye bye. Hi, Ball. Huh. We're okay. Friends. We're not gonna starve. We have everything we need in the infinite elevator shaft, chat, to survive for a hundred years. We can live! We'll eat quans to live. What was that? Thought I saw something. Let's stop the elevator. Okay, button's not. What was that? I thought I saw something. Let's stop the elevator. What was that? Thought I saw something. Yeah, let's get that elevator door closed. Am I hearing crows? Let's stop the elevator. All right, sounds like the elevator's finally stopped. Let's get this bad boy, uh... Hello? Hello? Stop. I said let's stop the elevator. And get it open. Ah, uh, yeah, we're falling down again. 
Yeah, we're falling down the elevator shaft again. That channel sucks, too. You know, at a certain point, you'd think I would just, like, at the speed we're falling, it would start to, it seems like it's descending faster than a, like, terminal velocity, almost. You'd think I would just flop right through this hole and, like, proceed to fall in my own isolated fashion. We're going very fast. Can we switch to hand channel? God, I fucking wish. Chad, I think what we need to do is, um, punch back in that code. What was it again? Nine. Nine, one, zero, nine, two. Nine, one, zero, nine. I did something. I'd like to get off now. Thank you. I don't know what happened. I was standing on the threshold and I broke it. Okay. I'd like to leave the elevator now. Thank you. This does not seem to be my stop. But I appreciate the chance to purchase some delicious food. Ugh. I gotta hand it to you, all right? This floor is kinda cringe. Hey, fuck off. Hey, fuck off. What's your problem? Put some clothes on. <laughs> you guys are fucking funny. You got hands over here. Epic. Three. Weirdos. Are those bodies on the ground? No, nah, that's just trees. No, nah, that's trees. It's trees. You guys are all getting awfully close to me. You wouldn't want me to kick your ass, would you? You better keep your distance. One last one to go. It's gotta be over here. Sorry. Just trying to gonna just get a good, a good just gonna get a look at it. And he spun around so fast. POV, you're avoiding the witches in hard rain on Left 4 Dead 2, but yeah, none of these guys have done anything, though. They're actually pretty cool. Solve the riddle with the hands. This isn't a very complicated riddle. Okay. One. First number- first letters- first letter. First number's five. Five. One. Two. Two. Zero. What, you'd have to be a fucking absolute bozo to not be able to pull that one off. Solved it. I solved your riddle, Puzzle Master. Now let me off the elevator now before I get angry. As you should. As you should let me go. As you should. 
Go home, hug your wife. Play with daughter. Stop drinking. I actually fucking hate walking through the first floor because these are all real names. These are real people. These are real people's fucking last names. They're real people. But it just feels like very, like... Huh? You gotta be fucking kidding me right now. Son of a bitch. I knew you lived. I knew pushing you down that elevator shaft wasn't gonna be enough. So you finally came to finish the job. Huh, Fritz Chan? Cracks neck. <clears throat> you think I can't still throw a fridge? Oh, I can. So, uh, I can't actually do anything here. I'm waiting for you to do something. Are you getting closer? I need to stress so much, Defrig, that I can't do anything. So if the game has something it needs to do, you need to do it. Bet you can't parry him. I'm just waiting for Defrig to do something. WASD, don't do anything. Do something already! I don't know if it, I think it broke. It's probably gonna put me bad. bad oh, fuck you. Ah, uh, oh! Next chapter. I don't want to lose progress though, but I know that this- I know I unlocked the next chapter. Does anyone remember what the code was? Because it's probably the same thing. I probably don't actually- I could probably sequence break this. VOD watchers skip 10 minutes? It's only gonna take like a minute. 51220. Five, one, two, two. I'm already halfway done now. And now I'm over halfway done. I'm sorry, what just happened? I'm fine. Some guy hugged me. But I lived. Last one's this one, then we're done. 69420. <laughs> Bro! That fucking kills me, dude! Fuck yeah, dude! Five, one, two, two, oh, yep. Five? One, two, two, zero. I just did it too fast. All right, now I demand you let me leave this time. For real. For real. Last warning. I'm running for it. Son of a bitch. Once again, here you are. And here I am. Unable to do anything. Well. Defrig, I fucking tried. Next one. Because I'm pretty sure I got a new chapter from sipping, uh, sipping that delicious pudding. Suicide. Hi. That's my wife in there. Tell me which room my wife is in. Can't you see I'm busy? This isn't a reference room. There are a lot of you here who need something. And I'm the only one here. You can't have a normal lunch anymore. 
Hi, where's my wife? Hi. What kind of people are these days? They have no up for me. No hello. No goodbye. Everyone is. Is it okay if I come behind the desk? The you call and find out where your wife is. And I'm busy. Is it okay if I eat your Charlene Muffy? Thank you for understanding. Is it okay if I turn off your computer? Anyways, but... Here's the phone. You call and find out where your wife is. And I'm busy. Okay. Oh, uh, thank you. Is it okay if I turn off your PC while you're using it? Thanks for understanding. Now then, let's see here. My wife... Damn. Can't read the number of the oncology department. The whole journal is smeared with blood. So you can't make out the right numbers. Damn, that's just a thing everyone's got to deal with one day. You know what I mean? You come into the hospital trying to find where your wife is in the oncology department and you find out that the call, the call book is covered in blood. Just smeared in blood. It's a hospital. It adds up. Here's the phone. You call and find out where you want. Now, if I had to guess, it's probably another one of them there journals right around here. -ish. Inside this. Wow, it really was right around here. -ish. What the heck? 9 7. What's up? Yeah, this is the cool wing of the hospital. This is where they treat astronauts who have space accidents. Very cool. Can't get in there. But I can get in here. No, I can't see anything in here. So kind of worthless. And this one's all fucked. Not much of anything to be gained from this room. Nothing. 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 It's all just a bunch of bullshit. Howdy. Why don't I just guess now? Nah, that'd be unbelievable. There's no way he pulls it off in one, right? Probably the wrong number. All right, fuck me. How the hell am I gonna find anything in the floaty zone? Oh. All right, I'm gonna go brute force it now. Wait, I need the room with, uh with an actually usable blood nothing 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 I see I'm just really spooked because I'm scared that at any second I'm gonna turn a corner and there's gonna be a, a red fridge there and it's gonna punch me in the like the nose like because you know that is that it tends to happen 9761. Okay, I was never going to get it right. Hi. Can you please tell me which room Chloe Guilt is in? Sorry, it's my birthday. I don't know all the patients yet. Wow, that's... Could I just, I don't know, know where the, uh... Can I just know where the actual fucking department is and I can just check there when I get there? Wait, forward, left, left, right, right, from where? Oh, fuck. Forward. <laughs> Into the blood zone. Left, which says archive. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck you. Really? Le le left. 
Right. Classic hospital navigation. Right. We made it. My wife's case should be in here. I'm definitely allowed to be in here. What? Huh? What? Huh? What? Huh? What? Huh? What? Huh? Huh? Everything's gonna be fine, chat. I just have to find my wife's case. It's gotta be somewhere around here. It was just a bad dream. The red fridge isn't real. It can't be the monster because that would be so goofy. If the monster of this horror game was really just a red fridge. I'm scared of fridges. A fridge fell on my granddad right in front of me when I was but a wee lad. One of the saddest things I ever done did happen to me. I never really recovered after that. I'm in the wrong section of the archives. Yeah. Yeah. Wrong. 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 Right. Here it is. It's gotta be the way to my what? Hello. Ah, uh, hi. I'd like to talk to you. Can't you see I'm busy? Here is a list of recently alive patients in front of you. Okay. Look for yourself. Where your wife is. Uh, it's blank. There's only one person on it. ICU number seven. Okay. Ghosts. Be vigilant. Watch your health. What is that sound? What is that horrible sound? That horrible wailing? I'm gonna cut in line. I really can't. They're really not gonna let me. How you guys feel about waiting in queue lines to find our wife in the ICU? You guys want a snack? We don't have a quarter, so we can't. This is just like me when my wife had a horrible accident. <laughs> Bro, you... You good, man? Bro? <laughs> Bro? Bro? My turn, my turn. So, all right, so we need to find the El Diablo, El Diablo. Oh my God. We got to get the hell out of here before Satan gets us. Come on, follow me. He already, he already compromised it. Wait, ward, wait, which ward? Bib? Oh, this is the janitor's ward. Sorry. This is my ward? Bib? Have you seen my wife here? Her name is Chloe. She must be around here somewhere. Yes. There was one here. But she was transferred to another place. Classic. You know, I don't have much time left. Could you bring me my son so I can look at him one last time? Bring me my son. Bring me my precious baby right. boy. 
Okay, after that, you're going to tell me where you transferred my wife. Find me, my son. Bring me my precious baby boy. Did you, wait, you didn't tell me where he is. Where is my son? I don't know. You tell me. Find me my precious baby boy. I cannot say where he is. Find me him. My boy, my precious boy. Okay. I guess I'll go to the... This is relatable and I don't know why. Hello? I'm looking for someone's baby boy? Maternity ward. I uh, sure hope he's got a label on him. Oh my fucking god. Oh, hi. Uh, I'm looking for, yeah, the maternity ward. I guess it's this way. Yep, up a floor. Uh, another floor. Is this a spot? Let me go this way. Howdy. And then we want to go this way. Fuck, I can't do it. I thought I could. Where is the man's precious baby boy? Precious baby boy, baby boy. Baby boy, none in here. I hope that's his son. That's just a teddy bear. Oh, here he is. Yo, your dad's looking for you. Come on. You're definitely him, right? The kid? Shut the fuck up. Shut up! Dude, I found a thing, but I need to... I gotta ditch this baby. I'd have to ditch this baby to watch that TV. Hey, what is that sound? What is there a giant baby coming after us? I heard something. <laughs> it's not your baby. Yeah, it ain't my baby, but sure as shit ain't yours neither. All right? Oh, 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 oh. I just keep knocking him in the walls. I, every time I run around the corner, fucking slaps him against the wall. You're gonna be fine, kid. We're gonna get you to your papa. We're gonna get you to your papa! Here's your son. Oh, my beautiful baby. My beautiful baby. Now tell me where my wife is. Go forward. Right. Then right again. Right and left. Thanks. Forward. Forward. Wait, what? Where are you going? You can't go in there. Did I accidentally... Did I accidentally do it right just because it was like the way that we had to go for the baby? And pick up your wise things from the storekeeper on duty. I think I accidentally did it, like, automatically. from the vault attendant on duty. I just want to see my wife. That's so confusing. But I think that's what happened. Are you playing Roblox? Have you collected all the certificates? I don't know. Hi. Listen, I've been here all day. My throat is dry. Can you get me something to drink from the vending machine? The vending machine! 
I don't have any coins. This is... Wow, that might be the scariest tiny micro plunger I've ever seen. Now that's for small poop clogs, you know what I mean? That's for the small ones when you don't need a whole plunger. The baby plunger and the, 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 the big boy plunger for those really hard to reach clogs. Hi. Your wife's discharge is on the table. Take it in now. God, dude, you sound like you're about to fucking cry. Uh. So I just bring this up to you? Have you collected all the certificates? What else am I missing? Shit in here. He won't even talk to me anymore. I need like a quarter Bro, do you have a quarter on you? I need to get that guy a soda Anyone got a quarter I can use I gotta get a guy a soda so he'll uh Not have a dry throat and thus feel compelled to help me find my wife Oh, you actively gave me the money. Cool. That, that was what should have happened. I just assumed this game would hate me. There you go. Thank you. Here are your wise things. No, thank you. Why are you giving me these? Is my wife dead? <laughs> I just spilled them. Okay. Well. Let's, uh. Have you connected all the certificates? To my knowledge. Unless something bugged. To my knowledge, yes. I. I have, to my knowledge, have you connected all the collected everything. I can't go in this room. I've run out of rooms. I be do believe you done busted up the order of events. My wife is dead. But at least we can rest easy at this point. Knowing that that beautiful baby boy was returned to his loving papa. And check out the last episode that I unlocked. That's cool, at least. Right? Charlene Muth. Come to the funeral. Okay, so I guess I hit the nail right on the head on that one. I guess I hit the nail right on the head with, uh, with that old prediction. My wife is dead. What's up? Where have you been? We've been waiting for you. Everyone is waiting for your speech. What's up, everyone? Sorry I'm late. God help. God. <laughs> God, do me a solid right now. Help me. Help now. Sorry. Oops. Oh. <laughs> I decided to do my big speech. Now I'm gonna say something a little crazy. That's not a that's not a red fridge. That's a red coffin. That's different. 
Hey, stop! Bib? 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 Bib, come down here now. All right? Ow! Fuck! What the fuck's your problem? Dude, there's a coffin outside that's alive and trying to kill me. Like, this is less of a confession, more of a request for help. I'm okay today. Help. 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 I have the chalk. Did the fucking coffin just actually smash the ceiling? Oh, fuck. El Diablo coffin! El Diablo! All right. Okay, go ahead and just carve a big old circle around me. Good fucking luck getting past that. That's a fucking holy seal. Yeah. About to encase you in goddamn holy light. Ow! What the? Oh, you're fucked now. Get fucking absolutely contained. You're done. Oh, you're done. They did. They got rid of it. I'm gonna try reading a prayer. I'm also gonna eat some of this, whatever it is. What's up, God? It's me. Your main, your main boy. Uh, I'm not having a good day today. Uh, I'm not really sure even how to read the book. Stop. So what's up, God? It's your boy. Trying to figure out how to read the, uh... Oh, I guess I gotta bring it to that guy so he can read it to me. I hope he's not dead. Part of the ceiling collapsed. God? Hey, I got you the book. Nothing to say. I want the second floor. I want to check what's on the second floor. It's really hard to see in this place. I mean, I got the book. Oh, I guess I'll read it here. It missed. Idiot. Now you're fucked. Yeah, now I got the... I hereby cast you away from this realm. Could be gone. Oh, you gotta watch out for the truck. You gotta watch out. Possessed props in TTT. You're not wrong. You've been cured, my wife. <laughs> finally, we can finally lay her to rest. I did it. I saved the funeral. Bye. Fuck. Well, that's going to burn down. Well, there's nothing I can do about that. She's dead as heck. Seems to be a place for sermons. Seems to. <laughs> Seems like it may be. Hey, go ahead. confess I did a real I just did something really dumb and I think God is gonna be PO'd about it I think I just fucked up big time on something I kind of need it was like a knee-jerk reaction I didn't really think about it but um I need to get out of here 
I killed my I the 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 demon is dead and this is permanent. Ow, fuck. Check the second floor. Goku is going to get you. This game has interesting concepts, but it's almost like too obtuse. Sometimes I really truly don't know what to do here. It seems to be a place for sermons. Seems to be a place for sermons. Like the fire effect is like barely even functional anymore. Why do all these break? Who knows if they even are breaking, dude? What if it's just like I'm missing something? Like that's also possible. Either way, we unlocked another chapter, so I'm gonna go switch to that because we're gonna wrap up very soon. What is that, a fucking egg sandwich? Oh, hell yeah. Now this. I, asleep. I need to find a place to drink coffee. Can't find a place to drink some coffee. Okay, this car is invincible. Now we know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find a place to drink some coffee. You were gonna fucking die. Out. Hey, what the fuck's your problem? Chat, what was on the back of that cuss car? Chat? What was sitting in the back of that guy's car? Was that a fucking fridge? Was that the goddamn fridge? Was that death frig? Oh no. Oh, that might have been different. Keep your eyes peeled. We have no idea where different could be hiding. But really, the, the, the cafe with all these signs really got a lot of money out of the, these fucking ads, dude. They're unopposed out here on the street. How do I, how do I get out? How do I get out? I'm at, I found it. I found it. Let me park. Fucking window. Fucking window. <laughs> This doesn't feel like a me problem. Let me out. Free me! Oh! Okay, it just didn't tell me I could do that. Hey, what's up? Hello. How far away is Grossesburg? Straight through the woods. You can get there in ten hours if you don't want to get lost. Left through the woods. Might be faster if it's not close. Okay. Thank you. Can I get a cup of coffee? I'm exhausted. Was that a six... What is that? Six ounce burger? Mushroom and onion? Club sandwiches? All right, I'm done with it. Nice cup of nice cup of Joe right there. Nice cup of fucking Joe. All right, I'll see you later. I have to go to the bathroom. I gotta piss all this out. Hang on. I need to close the door. I gotta close the door. I don't want you to hear me piss all this out. Fuck. You have a good day. Hello? Last chapter unlocked. Last chapter unlocked. I 
feel kind of bad for some players because like yeah i've run into a lot of issues with like the bugs or like perceived bugs some people reviewed this game literally saying they couldn't find the levels like they couldn't find the new content like the stuff like the levels uh, i've accidentally found every single one of them by just clicking on like uh food so i'm supposed to go left yeah there's only left to go so it looks like we're 142 miles to that that is not a 10 hour trip 142 miles is like maybe uh quite a bit less than that i guess is what i'd say even on like country roads like maybe like three ish whoa 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 Hey, watch the paint, asshole. Sorry, I just thought maybe that was the... I just thought maybe that was the fridge. Must have been nothing. Let's just go. Looks like we're in a graveyard of some kind. The road's gone. So never mind, it was just overtaken by green slime. But it's okay, it's back now. That guy's weird. He's not following me, good. Freak. We're gonna be going down this road for... Yeah, the generator's dead. You gotta be fucking kidding me right now. I don't think I'll be able to make it to the city with this kind of breakdown. No, we can actually get the car to move still. The car seems to be working fine. What do you mean? The car's working. All right, well, we'll head on back. I fucked up. I seem to have driven my car into the slime. I made a big oopsie on that one. That's straight into the fucking slime. Get Michigan, nerd. The car will be fine. We all want to know what the chili level's like, though, don't we? I don't want to get up. I don't know where to get the fuck up. Yep. I'm just gonna shatter that right in front of me. Thank God, that fridge ain't red. I don't want to get up. Hey, kid, you ever see a guy drink this many beers? Someone is calling. Huh? Yep. Hello. Frank's repair shop. Yeah. Yeah, I fucking do. Twenty nine ninety eight and twelve fifty for East Road. Cool, cool, cool. See you there. It better not be red though. All right, my objective says to get drunk. I like to drink beer in a chair in front of the TV. TV gotta be on or I just can't, I just can't drink. Shut up. I 
I like to drink beer in a TV chair. turned off again. Shut up already! Hello? Hello? Alright, let me get out. You stay there and keep playing with your crayons. Jesus, have you always talked like that? You sound like a fucking creature. Where the hell is this guy anyway? Where the hell is he? That's your child? I don't remember that. Whoa! Oh! Huh. Oh. How did you get this up here? I brought the refrigerator. You brought it alone? Make strange noises. Red brand. Okay. Help me get it down to the basement. <gasps> Deathlig. So anyways, when this fridge is turned on, it makes these strange fucking noises. Seems like there's some... Compressor seems to be damaged. It's covered in something viscous. I need to call to order a new one. Compressor seems to be damaged. It's covered in... Yeah, something there's some kind of viscous goo on the compressor. Gonna one. have to head on upstairs and get a new one ordered ASAP. What's good, Carl? I need a new compressor. Someone gooed up the last one. Hi, it's Frank. I need a compressor for the refrigerator. Same as last time. It's completely saturated in goo. I'm gonna need a new- 20 bucks! I told you I'd give it to you next week. Yeah, I'll give you something, all right, Frank, you hack. Yeah. I'll give you something. Something you ain't gonna like. Hang on, I gotta order food. I need pizza to survive. It's so important. Even if we have to listen to these peeps for the next 20 to 30 minutes, I need to order my tasty frickin' pizza. Where the hell is it? Did they get rid of the pizza I like? No, no, no. They still have it. They still have it. Everything's fine. Everything. Everyone calm down. Yeah. yeah. I just need, I just need food. So bad. Omega low. What kind of pizza? Grecian pizza. 12 inch. All right. Olives. Fucking better. The, no, the whole nine yards. I have some for leftovers. Oh, hell yeah. Tomato, please give us food. Literally never. Never and give it up. All right, that's exactly how I'm going to put it. What do I have to do right now? Get drunk? I wish I had a cold beer right now. There you go. I like to drink beer in a chair in front of the TV. I wish I had a cold beer right now. Sit down. I like to drink beer in a chair in front of My character will never be happy! I wish I had a cold beer right now. I like to drink beer in a chair in front of the TV. I believe I broke it. I wish I had a cold beer right now. I wish I, I have to be right sitting now. in the chair to drink the beer, but it won't let I me sit down in the chair because I need to drink the beer first. Maybe it's not cold. It's going to be cold. <laughs> oh! Oh! I like to drink beer in a chair in front of the TV. Yep. I like to drink beer in a chair in front of the TV. Finally got there, baby.
I love alcohol, man. Maybe my favorite pastime is just sipping this stuff. Pretty much out of beer. Drank about 40 bottles today. Jesus, you fucking creep. I hate this. I hate this. What is this? Why don't you just put that in my face like that? Close your eyes and count to ten. You're gonna go hide? Fine. I'm coming to look for you. You better not have hidden somewhere over. Oh, no. I swear to God, you in that fridge right now, there's gonna be problems. in there oh hell yeah oh fuck where are you at kid bear not be crawling around anywhere dangerous what the fuck is this shit daughter what is this the fuck is that? Oh my god! What the fuck is all this? I'm freaking angry. I like that one. I don't like that one at all. <laughs> what? I don't like it. Are you a demon? Have you always been one? <laughs> it was a picture of me surfing? Yeah, but that other one doesn't really match up like that. Why is there green slime in the shower? Daughter, why is there green slime inside your shower or tub? Well, it found me again. Let's play again. Lori? Please. I mean, what do you. It found her? What is it? I. I mean, I found you. What do we, now what? What do I do now? Well. Oh, I hope it didn't break or something again. That'd be really sad. Find Lori. I found her. She was upstairs inside the... She's right here. Game, please! Please, game! Sit down? I guess. That might be it. Oh, yeah. Okay. I wish it would tell you stuff like that. Kind of needs you to at this point. I'm coming to look for you. All right, where you at now, you foolish child? Nope. Better not be in my room. Nope. Better not be in the basement with the red fridge. Nope. Okay. I really gotta talk to Lori about her art. I really do. I really, 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 really do. She should go to counseling. Fired. 
Lori, did you fucking write that? Is she st she's not still upstairs in the same fucking spot, is she? She's dumber than a fucking big old pile of... Big old pile of bricks. I can hear her. Lori? Where the hell are you? Oh, I didn't even see this. Oh. Where the fuck is she in the goddamn wall? Lori? Seems like the only place you can be is in the basement. Can I turn on the lights? There we go. Lori! Where the fuck are you? I... She might be one of the greatest hiders of our generation. You don't think she closed herself in the other fridge? No. I would have heard it. Yeah. Am I? She's right above me or below me in that central spot. I'm gonna keep playing if you're just gonna move in a different corner. Fuck you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go. I fell asleep. Oh boy, that was the 50 beers. <laughs> now that right there is the 50 beers. All right, Lori. How long has it been? Where's Lori? You better not be either a drowned in a pool or bath or inside that fridge. I swear to God. Chat, it's okay. Fridges don't lock from the outside. It's not like she dies. You would just have to be smart enough to open the door and get air. See, all she'd have to do is be smart enough to understand that a fridge doesn't like have air in it. Open the fucking fridge though, man. Maybe she's not even in there. You know what I mean? Open it. Oh, we're back here again. E. G. Egg. Egg. I mean, this game's like mostly like an ARG thing where like, yeah, hunt down the truth within all the levels. I don't have time to do that chat, but this is interesting. Anyways, uh, I'm done. It's been four hours. I got to stream again tomorrow and I got stuff I still got to do tonight. So I will catch you all on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. These were all very fun games. I will see you later. Although I will say this fucking image on this TV didn't appear during the goddamn stream. What's up with that? What's up with that? Where's that guy at? What's he up to? What's his secret? 
Anyways, chat, thanks for watching, gifting subs, and donating if you did. I really appreciate it. As always, I really do. Uh, I will be back tomorrow at the usual time. 3 p.m.-ish EST. Uh, leading into D&D. &D. And I'll be taking Friday off. And then back on Saturday. Thanks for coming on by. I will see you tomorrow. Laters.